What's going on, people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another live watch along today. Huge Premier League game, Arsenal against Manchester City from the Etihad, a place that Arsenal have not won since 2015, that famous Santi Cazorla masterclass from back in the day. Um, listen, I hope you've had a good weekend so far because Gunas. When you see this starting lineup, um, your weekend might suddenly start going down the hill. Um, you are not going to be happy with this starting lineup. Although, you know, if we get a result, it will be seen as a masterclass. But I have to admit, I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive and worried at the moment. The year is 2021. We're coming to the end of summer, 28th of August. And I'm seeing something I just didn't believe I was supposed to ever see. It is. Saeed Kalasinac in an Arsenal starting lineup. Now, I know he played the other day in a cup game against West Brom's under 16s, but you don't play him at Manchester City away. A year ago, Arteta thought it was clever to go to Manchester City and start William False Nine, and that didn't work. And now you're trying to play Saeed Kalasinac. I need answers. I need answers, people. Like, Arsenal therapy is there. It's ready and waiting. Three-hour session tomorrow. Don't do this to us. Listen, big up to everyone in the chat. Hope you're well. See all of you in the comments. Um, Pot the Bus FC, 542. I mean, Pepe out as well. Pepe apparently is ill. You know, I can't help it. All of a sudden, we turn in, into conspiracy theorists with Arsenal. You always think there's more to it. But let me show you that Arsenal starting lineup and uh, big up to all of you for tuning in on this uh, i know the time difference has made it very difficult for certain people um depending on where you are in the world but here is the arsenal team uh, bamiang is in he's the captain i mean this team i looked at it and i thought have they made spelling mistakes have they written people in that weren't playing what am i actually seeing this team is nuts leno in goal a back three. Apparently, this is set up as a back three of Kalasinac holding and Chambers. I mean, <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, like, is, like, what is that? What is that? That that could quite easily be like Brighton's back three. In fact, their back three is probably better than that with Lewis Duncan players like that. What is that? Kalasinac, left centre-back, holding central and Chambers, right centre-back. Oh, you just don't need that on a Saturday morning. Wing-backs are Cedric and Kieran Tierney. Two in midfield of Granite Xhaka and Smith-Rowe. I've never seen Smith-Rowe play centre-mid. Is this the game to be playing him centre-mid and experiment in Manchester City away? It's almost as if Mikel Arteta says, you know what? We're going to lose this game anyway, so I'm just going to try a thing and see see what happens. Um, man said, oh my God, I need more beers. <laughs> this early in the morning, man's on beers. I don't blame you. Oh man, what a team. Smith Road plays centre mid away at Man City next to Xhaka. Make it make sense, people. Um, and then it's Odegaard and Saka to the sides of um, Aubameyang. Pepe out ill, apparently. That's come out of nowhere. Is it COVID? I don't know. And then on the bench, Ramsdale, Oconquo, Tavares, Mari, Maitland Niles, Laconga, El Nenny, Martinelli, Lacazette. I'm, I've got some questions. I've got some questions, people, and I'm hoping you can help me out. Why is Kalasinac playing for Arsenal? Somebody explain it to me. Why is Kalasinac starting in a game for Arsenal? This is Manchester City away. I, I, like, did he think this was a Carabao Cup game away? At, you know, we got Wimbledon in the next round. That back three absolutely stinks. They're going to stink out the Etihad today with those three. Awful back three. Imagine what Pep Guardiola's thinking when he sees that back three. He's thinking, yo, goal bonuses galore, mate. Big up Modu for becoming a member on the channel. Much appreciated. There'll be more content coming out next week. And big up VJ with the Super Chat said, I'm a Man United fan, mate, and that lineup is a shambles and a sackable offence. Listen, let me say something now. It hasn't gone wrong yet, so I'm not going to go crazy. I know what I'm thinking in my head. I'm trying to hold it down. I'm trying to be positive. I'm not going to annihilate the manager yet. 
even though I think that lineup is a disgrace, right? Security guard settings. Maybe he thinks we're going to be attacked that much. He needs Kalasanach, the security guard who helped Meza Ozu. But listen, why not go to Man City? Pick your best team, and then we can't blame you, the manager. You pick the best team that was out there available to you. What is this? Kalasinac was leaving the club a week ago. Now the man's starting at Manchester City. I don't understand it. Big up Robert with a super chat. Ho Odegaard next to Xhaka and Smith Rowe on the left. I mean, it's listed as Smith Rowe, but it could be. We'll see. Defensively, are they going to have the energy? They're going to be chasing the ball a lot of the game, let's be honest. That team lineup is wild. Now, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I'm going to show you the Manchester City lineup as well, people, because they've picked a, a little bit of a surprising lineup as well, but they've got so much quality, it doesn't really affect them anyway. Edison in goal, Kyle Walker at right back with uh, Ruben Diaz and Imeric Laporte centre back, Cancelo's at left back, uh, Rodri and Gundawan, the midfield two. Bernardo Silva is the number 10. Grealish on the left, Torres on the right, and Jesus through the middle. Although last week it turned out it was actually Torres through the middle with Jesus on the right. So maybe they will mix it up again. You know, they've got bags of quality uh, on the bench. Stefan, Stones, Ake, Sterling, Zinchenko, Fernandinho, Mares, Doyle and Palmer. I mean, of course, we know they've been trying to get the striker situation over the line. They weren't able to complete a deal for Harry Kane. Of course, they were linked with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, who's gone to the other side of Manchester, uh, back to his old club. And, um, you know, I just think whoever they've got on the pitch, they've got enough to demolish teams the way they move the ball. Um, so it's going to be difficult for Arsenal either way. I cannot believe the team lineup that we've got out. I just can't believe it. Like it's as if he doesn't know who we're playing against. But I'm I'm try listen, I'm trying not to be too down on the team. I'm trying to be positive, but it's very difficult to be when you see things like that. Now, we've got just over half an hour till kickoff. So we're going to talk about one or two other things. Now, this happened yesterday. This happened yesterday. Cristiano Ronaldo signed for Manchester United. And me, I sat there yesterday and i got to be honest, as an Arsenal fan, even though we're not really in direct competition with Manchester United at the moment, I felt very hurt by this deal as, as an Arsenal fan. I sat there and I thought, we left Highbury, our amazing stadium, with all that history, all that atmosphere. It was a fortress for us and... We went to the Emirates to compete with Bayern Munich, with Barcelona, to Real Madrid, so that we could make these huge signings. And we're here in 2021, and this is no disrespect to the players that we've bought, but we've paid more for Aaron Ramsdale than Manchester United have paid for Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, I know Cristiano Ronaldo's 36. I realise that. His wages are absolutely huge. So I get the, the difference, why the cost is different. But where, you've said it here, Mohammed. where is our marquee signing? Where is it? We're, try, we're trying to bridge the gap. We're not even in Europe this year. We're Brexit FC. When you are trying to bridge the gap, you have to do something that gets you there quickly. Now, I look at the signings Arsenal have made this summer, and Robbie keeps saying, yeah, they're sensible. Yeah, they're, they're nice and sensible. They're investments. They're young. They've got potential. We're not in a position for sensible. We desperately need to get there now. The fans can't be dealing with another two or three years of finishing eighth and building and finishing seventh and getting there slowly. You need success quickly. You're at a big football club. We're under pressure. I wanted to see a reaction from the football club this season that gives all the fans inspiration that, right, things are changing. Now, it's crazy that only Arsenal can spend 130 million and we feel like we're no better. How is that the case? Instead of buying five players, maybe we should have bought two players or three players that significantly improve us. Manchester United have signed Sancho, Varane and Ronaldo. That's like FIFA. That's like a man on FIFA just signing the best players around. Like, 
they can be excited by all three of them signings. Chelsea bought Lukaku, that's excitement. Grealish to City, excitement. We've gone for quantity over quality and we needed quality over quantity. For 130 million, you can buy, what, two 50 million pound players and a 30 million pound player. That's going to make a big difference to your starting 11. So I've got to admit, people, no hating because I I feel, you know what, I respect it. I love Cristiano Ronaldo as a player. He's one of my favourite players probably to ever play the game. I admire his mentality. Is How can you still be that good at 36? Wayne Rooney was in the same Manchester United team as Ronaldo. He's been retired for two years. He's the manager of Derby County. He doesn't even play football anymore. This guy's 36 and still getting moves to Manchester United at the age of 36. The mentality, the work rate, it's beyond anything I've ever seen in football. Most players are retired by this age or they're playing in an easy division. This guy's still at the top of his game or, or not far away from it. Um, Ali Jason, thank you for the super chat, bro, said, Curtis, who buys a £50 million centre-back and puts him on the bench? Only Arsenal, my friend, only Arsenal. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, Ben White's not on the bench today, but you look at the play, like you said, Ramsdale bench, 30 million, Laconga bench, 20, and most of our signings are on the bench. In fact, Odegaard's our only new player that's actually starting today. Crazy. I appreciate your support, bro. Um, Sheets of Metal says, bro, bring bring back Alexis Sanchez. The Alexis Sanchez we had has uh, gone, man. He's gone. He ain't that player anymore. Um, you know, it's... Um, it's uh, them days are done. Gaurav said you sold your history for money. I mean, listen, making the move to a new stadium is not unacceptable if you do what you say you're going to do. You went there to become a top club to, uh, financially in the market so we could compete. I don't feel like we're competing. Sean P, big up with a super chat, said, if anyone still had doubts about Arteta doesn't like Saliba, Kalasanac is starting today, puts that discussion to bed, disgraceful. You are absolutely spot on. How can he justify it? How can he turn around to Arsenal fans and say, I sent Saliba out on loan because he's not good enough to play centre-back, but we're playing Kalasanac. Kalasanac is a left-back. We're playing him at centre-back against Manchester City. We've been trying to sell him for two years. It puts that argument to bed. He clearly has a personal issue with William Saliba. It's got absolutely nothing to do with his ability. He's better than most of the centre-backs at Arsenal. Let's keep it 100. Um, so, yeah, you're right. Trust the pro. Oh, man. Um, let's see what you're saying. Uh, Kelvin said that lineup is sick and disgusting. No tactics whatsoever and a shocker. Pepe ain't, ain't even in the lineup. I mean, Pepe apparently is out ill. Uh, obviously, I don't know if it's been revealed what the circumstances are surrounding his illness. Uh, it just said Pepe is unwell and will miss today's game. I mean, uh, apparently it's not COVID, they're saying. I'm just reading it now. Pepe is unwell, but it's not COVID, but he will miss today's game. And he is not in the squad, which is a disappointment because these are games where you want your big £72 million player to be playing in. But yeah, listen, Man United fans in the chat or anyone watching, I think for the Premier League to see Cristiano Ronaldo back is fantastic. It puts the league on another level. I see Man United's website crashed yesterday because so many people were on it at the same time. You know, who'd have thought in a summer with a pandemic, you would see Ronaldo and Messi move clubs. And Mbappe could be about to move. Ramos has moved, you know, Sancho, Varane. It's been an unbelievable window. Just feels like we haven't, you know had a big piece of the pie that is there. We've, we've spent 130 million on the crumbs, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, FIFA 22 is going to be fire this year as well. Premier League, man, Ronaldo in there. Um, big up Leo Messi surfing and sneaker says, big up C, this is a tail between the legs lineup. This is, this is Arteta saying, Pep, just don't destroy us. Just don't, don't, don't beat us up. He hasn't turned up and said, you know what? Everyone thinks we're going to lose. I'll, I'll set up solid, but I'll give us enough that, listen, we can go and hurt this Man City team. Let's not forget Tottenham beat Man City two weeks ago. Why did they beat them? Because when they got the ball, they went at them like lightning. Front three, Lucas Moura, uh, Bergwijn and uh, Son. Pure pace on the counter-attack. Man City's fullbacks always bomb on. So when you get the ball, you've got an opportunity to hit them on the counter-attack. 
But I, I hear you. It's a tail between the legs. Oh, Pep, don't destroy my team, please. We're friends. Of, we're friends. I'm going to turn up with about seven defenders and try not to get battered. Come on. Come on. I've seen Crystal Palace go to Man City and beat them, counter-attack Zaha and them. Look, I've seen Wolves go there, sit back, counter-attack and beat them, Adama Traore. Leicester spanked them last season, hit them on the break, Madison, Vardy. They're not indestructible. They're not some unbelievable team that you can't beat. You can beat Manchester City. You have to turn up in the right way with the right tactics and work hard. But this team doesn't give me any inspiration that we're going to beat them. We've got one centre mid in the lineup. How how are we going to contain them? I don't get it. Um, but hey, uh, we got to come out from the start. Said Gareth. Uh, Anthony said Faxi. Uh, maybe maybe we're selling Pepe and buying Sterling. I don't think so. I think there were rumours yesterday that if Ronaldo was going Man City, that Sterling might have been available, and that Arsenal might have made a move for him. But with Ronaldo going to the red side of Manchester, it's going nowhere. Uh, imagine a back three of Ben White, Saliba and Gabriel. Y y like, Alfred, come on. We know this, bro. You're spot on. That should be our... If we're going to play three at the back, that's the back three. Saliba's your young French centre-back with all that quality you've loaned him out. Obviously, Gabriel played under 23s yesterday. He'll be back after the international break. And Ben White is out. So, effectively, our three best centre-backs are not even here. Two are injured, one's on loan. Tierney at wing back and Ainsley Maitland. Why is Maitland Niles not playing right wing back today? I mean, we'll, we'll move on. Is there a clear plan? It doesn't look very clear to me. It looks real foggy. Looks real foggy right now. I don't see any uh, clear plan at all. That's quality comment. Yeah, no, it is. It's a fantastic comment. Um, let me just do the the niceties, people of the show. Don't forget this video is sponsored by One Football. Link in the description below. Completely free app. All your latest team news, transfer news. When that team lineup came up, I actually saw it on there before the Arsenal website. I thought it was a joke. I thought something had gone wrong. Like, now, nah, have they put the substitutes in the lineup or something? Something's gone wrong here, surely. And when I saw it on the website, I'm like, I don't know what's going off. I, I thought it was April Fool's Day. I don't know what Arteta's doing. At this point, I'm I'm at the, the stage of thinking, is Arteta trying to get sacked? Is he in debt? Does he just want Arsenal to sack him and pay him up? You know what I mean? Man said, real foggy, put your spotlights on. I'm telling you, it's mad. This game, I mean, if he wins this game, it's an absolute masterclass. You know, if he wins with Kolasinac in the team. Viva Ronaldo, yeah. Yeah, listen, I get it. I get it. I'm not even going to disrespect Man United fans. You lot should be singing from the rooftops. That's an incredible transfer. Um, you know? Um, Curtis, I heard Robbie talking about it's hard not to go to the matches. Owners know we love the club. Tell Robbie to drop this week off mentality. I promise it will benefit in the long run. I mean, listen, it is difficult. I have to admit because there's such a buzz when you go to a game, you meet up with your friends, you know, you're talking about the game. It is, And because we've been in a pandemic and for over a year we haven't been able to do it, a lot of people are desperate to go. I mean, I had a ticket today. I didn't I didn't bother going, but I can understand why people want to go. It's very important for a lot of people's mental health, to be honest. But as I keep saying, what 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 are we gonna do? How are we gonna change things unless drastic action needs to be taken because nothing seems to be happening? Um, let's talk briefly about transfer news, including Arsenal. I wish I could deliver good news that's gonna brighten everyone up. Uh, I mean, some of you may think this is good news, but to me, I'm not sure. Ainsley Maitland-Niles could be on his way to Everton in a loan move with an option. I mean, that's the word we've heard all summer with Arsenal, isn't it? Option to buy. Yeah, not obligation. That doesn't mean that people have to pay the money to sign our players. It means after one year, they can send them back and say, nah, you're all right, mate, keep him. Uh, I just look at it today and think we won the FA Cup with Ainsley Maitland-Niles playing right wing-back, yet today we're playing Cedric right wing-back. Um, Everton want to sign Ainsley Maitland-Niles on loan before the deadline day with an option to buy for £20 million, an option that they probably won't take and they'll send him back next year. Now, I've got a couple of things to say about this. Number one, Everton are not short of cash, so don't come to me with no option. If there isn't an obligation to buy him, forget it. You ain't having him. Number two, 
are we not in competition with teams like Everton at the moment? I'm not being funny, but I know we're thinking it's United, City, Chelsea, Liverpool. But right now, I'd say it's more West Ham, Leicester, Everton, you know, those sort of teams, Tottenham. So are we actually strengthening a rival by sending Ainsley Maitland-Niles to Everton? Why are we doing them a favour by saying option to buy? How come Torreira is an option to buy? You know, we're so, so bad at selling players. It is unbelievable. It's actually incredible how bad we are at selling. We can't sell anyone. We can't get a good deal for anyone. You know, every player that we're trying to sell, oh, we'll take him on loan with an option. We don't actually want to buy him. You know, come on. Come on, Edu. Earn your bread, man. They're not paying you to just smoke cigars and go on holiday. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I, I have no idea uh, why that why that situation is occurring. But Ainsley Maitland-Niles... Looks like he's going to go to Everton on loan. He's on the bench today. Right wing back would have been perfect for him today. The fact he's not in the squad, well, he's on the bench, um, tells you that he's probably set to leave. Alfred said, how he's going to watch Arsenal help with mental health? Listen, I know what you're saying because Arsenal actually probably makes things worse. But trust me, to a lot of people, man, going to football, meeting up with friends, being out, watching football, it's very important to a lot of people. I know we joke about Arsenal and it don't, it don't help most of the time, but a lot of people rely on it, man. Um, but Alfred, appreciate your super chat, bro. DJ Ash says, big up, Curtis. Just woken up from work in a night shift. Just seen the team sheet. Where's Pepe? Has he got an injury? Pepe is ill, uh, although the club have said it's not COVID-19, which is good, of course. We don't want that. But um, it's crazy how we just keep getting illnesses before games all the time. Yasmin said, Curtis, you're my favourite Arsenal fan. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Nicholas said, I'm a gunner. When Ronaldo scores, I'll see you with him. Do you know what? Um, I was bantering my Man United mates when I thought he was going to City. When he went to United, I was like, oh, man, I'm fit. my phone was blowing up. I said, nah. Because you know Ronaldo's going to score against Arsenal. You can just bet on it. You know, I don't think Rob Holding's going to deal with Ronaldo somehow. And to just see him running off at the end, it's going, see, you just think, yo, I don't need that pressure, man. We got enough going on. But yeah, Pepe sick all of a sudden. Do you know what I'm saying? He played, what, three days ago? Played well, that smile on his face, but it is what it is. Big up Buenos Aires. Guna said, Curtis, the Roosters just saw the lineup. They're not happy, bro. Big up. I can imagine. No one's happy right now. Uh, Harlan to PSG, advanced talks. Listen, I said at the start of the window, if you got money, you can eat in this transfer window. This is a buyer's market. If you got dough, you can go out there and enjoy yourself. If you ain't got money, you're going to be penny pinching, scraping the barrel to see who you can get, unfortunately. And uh, we've spent a lot of money on not too much. So it is what it is. Um why would I, why would an Arsenal fan banter anyone? What position are you in, bro? A Swedish Chelsea fan, I'm shameless with it. I admit it. History channel settings. All I talk about now is Arsenal's history. So, yeah, I'm in no position, but I'll still do it. That's all we got, people. Um, just moving on, people. And make sure over 1,600 of you in here already, make sure you smash a like on the video. I'm going for 1,500 likes on this video today. We're not playing, people. That's the target. Don't forget, in the description below as well, uh, we're trying to win these football content awards, nominated for three awards, best new content, best content creator, and best in video. Links in the description. Click on that vote if you haven't already. It'll be much appreciated. We need some silverware in the Arsenal fan base this year, so hopefully we can win one of them. Glory, glory, Man United. Listen, the only thing is, ollie has got to deliver now. Oli, for me, has got to be challenging for that league, so we'll see. We'll see, but they'll be up there, I think. I do think so. Uh, Sheets of Metal said, Man United are not a banter club. How can we get out? Mate, we're stuck. We're stuck here for life, unfortunately. MR said, voted you in all three categories. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I vote for you, said Joe. I appreciated it. DJ Dre voted for you. Yeah, big up to all of you, man. Big up Omar. Did all the voting last night. Quality from all of you, man. Much appreciated. Uh, and Greg, thank you. Big up to all of you who have voted Jitesh as well. The United team looks fire. It does. Tony said, uh, the awards are announced in October, so we've still got just over a month. Um, listen, let's move on. More news that doesn't 
doesn't fill us with joy and uh, apologies. I don't know why they've got this picture up that has nothing to do with Arsenal. But um, I know you, if you saw the show yesterday, I was talking about Eddie and Ketia. Crystal Palace had made an offer of £11 million plus £2.5 million in add-ons. Uh, £11.5 plus £2.5. So it was a £14 million deal for Eddie and Ketia. And uh, as you can see here, Eddie and Ketia's touted move to Crystal Palace looks unlikely after a target switch. Apparently, Arsenal have, ha have asked for more money and Crystal Palace are set to walk away from the deal. Like, somebody make it make sense to me, please. So Just somebody tell me. Arsenal seem to have this thing in their head that their players are worth more than what they are. When Roma offered 15 for Xhaka and no one else wanted him, take the 15, get him off the books. They're going to give us 11.5 plus 2.5 for Eddie. That's 14 million. Take the money and run. You don't want him at the club. His contract's running down. You could have got 15 for Xhaka, 14 for Nketiah. That's 29 million plus wages off the books. You invest that into someone else. Put another 10 million on that, 12 million on that. You could get Basuma. You can get Max Ahrens. You can get Awar. They're players that all fit within that budget. It makes no sense. Now, Eddie and Ketty are a player that we don't want, whose contract's running out. We're not going to sell him. He'll be fourth choice striker at Arsenal running down his contract. It's absolutely disgraceful. Even Kevin Campbell said Arsenal accept the bid for Eddie and stop messing around. I mean, when Arteta's lawyer Kev saying that, you know we're in trouble. Eddie's going for free next summer and not kick a ball all year. Why would you turn down 40 million for a player you're not going to play and he's going to leave in a season for nothing? Absolutely insane. Uh, Chris Brown said, yo, big C, smashing it, bro. Much appreciated. So, looks like Eddie and Ketty will be staying at Arsenal. 40 million offer turned down. Crystal Palace are now in talks with a player, um, forgive me, from uh, Real Madrid. His name is, uh, let me just see, his name is, is it Borgia? Borgia Mayoral, Borgia Mayoral, young guy from uh, Real Madrid. Crystal Palace are now in talks to sign him. So this Eddie and Ketia um, move looks like it's going to collapse. Um, so, yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. But, hey, we're 14 minutes from the game kicking off. Yeah, there it is, Borgia Mayoral. I don't know much about him, but, uh, you know, they obviously feel they're getting more value for money with him. They probably think, you know what? You're lucky to be offered 14 million for Eddie. You don't want to take it. That's that's the best you're going to get. I would have took the 14 and ran. Edward and Ketia, mate. Let him go. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, man. Boy, uh, my role. Um, my role is good. Yeah, there you go. They probably think they're getting a much better deal. For anyone who's just tuning in, uh, let me show you the Arsenal formation and uh, we'll go through the lineups again. This is the... This is the system that we're going with. I mean, <laughs> oh, dear me. I, 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 I'm I, in shock. I don't want to come across as um, as negative. The game hasn't started yet. If we go one in, look, who cares what team we've got on the pitch? But that team lineup does not fill me with inspiration. Uh, playing Smith Rowe in midfield, you know, I've never seen him play centre mid in a two like that. I cannot believe... As you've said here, Nicholas, it's 2021 and we're seeing Saeed Kolasinac start for Arsenal. Now, I, I didn't even bring this up as well, uh, and I'm not going to bring it up. I've, you suffered enough already before this. Uh, Rumours going around that Kolasinac's move to Fenerbahce has collapsed over wage demands. Um, so he could be staying at the club for the season. Uh, yeah, Zach Pepe is out with illness. I uh, know he played on Wednesday night. All of a sudden, he's ill. Big up Akeem in the chat. He said, this is awful. I want us to get battered for that. I'm disgusted. Oh, man. Like, I mean, listen, I hope we can just fall over, stumble into a victory. But that team lineup is absolutely disgraceful. Now, BT are actually saying that Odegaard is centre mid and that Smith Rowe is on the left. Um, so... One of them is playing centre mid. One of them is out wide. Um, but I don't get it. 
I just feel like Man City will bop whoever those two are in midfield because we haven't got the energy. The Congas on the bench. That team genuinely looks like a, a Carabao Cup team. You know, Aubameyang and a couple others, but the rest of it is awful. That back three is one of the worst Arsenal back threes I've ever seen. Genuinely, I'm not even joking. Um, if you look at that team, the keeper, the back three, the two wing backs who are basically full backs as well, and then Xhaka who doesn't move, you've potentially got keeper, back three, that's four, your two wing backs, five, six, and Xhaka. You've got seven players there that aren't going to attack. You've got seven players there that will not attack. How are we meant to win this game? Are we just going to try and be nil-nil and nick it in the last 20 minutes? Oh, Pep must be thinking, I don't know what he's doing there, mate, but this team's getting slapped. If they win this game with that team, it's a miracle. Somebody has looked down on us and blessed us because if Pep doesn't beat that team, he needs to walk out, mate, and just forget it. Wade said, I'll behave, Curtis. This is a title contention team. Quality all over the field. Don't know what you're moaning about. <laughs> Uh, the 12, 15 hours after Man United announced Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm looking at Arsenal play Saeed Kalasinac in a back three with Rob Holding, Bob Bolden and Callum Chambers. Like, come on. But, oh man, popcorn settings. This could be a long day, people. Yeah, this could be a long day. Um, don't forget, uh, I will be back tonight at 10 past five UK time for Liverpool against Chelsea. Watch along. A uh, big, big game tonight. Two title contenders going head to head at Anfield. So make sure you tune in for that later. I've got a feeling we're going to be doing quite a lot of a uh, reaction after this game because I will either be in shock that we've won or we'll have been slapped all over the place. What I will say, people, the fact that we have a bench that has Nuno Tavares, Sambi Lakonga, Pablo Mari, not that I'm necessarily saying. Um, Pablo Mari should have started, but he had better options on the bench. He's going to be the full guy today, Mikel Arteta, if this goes wrong. Big up, Mo Bay. Appreciate your support, bro. Um, Jem Will, big up for the super chat. Do you reckon Pepe saying Arsenal destroyed Arteta or Arteta was never good enough? He'll probably say it's Arsenal's fault. They haven't backed him and... Because I've got no doubt when Arteta eventually gets sacked, he'll go back to Man City as coach. Pep will just say, yeah, come back, get coaching, mate. Don't worry about it. That was just a bad experience, you know? Well, listen, this is what people have to understand. Yeah, we beat West Brom in the week. But if we lose this game today, we've lost three games out of three in the Premier League. We haven't scored a goal. You know, we haven't scored a goal in the Premier League yet, so they better turn up today. Silky G, glad to see you're doing the Liverpool game. Can you do all their games? Listen, I, I try and do a lot of the games involving the big six, uh, the typical big six, although Leicester fans argue they should be in it. But um, yeah, I, I will try and do a lot of them, especially if two of them are playing against each other. I, I will always do them. Uh, Gaurav said, big C, none of my business, but how is Kalasinac still at Arsenal? It's very difficult to sell rubbish. I always say that. Go in your go in your wardrobe now, get out the worst top that you've got that's creased up, that you haven't wore for years, that you don't even like anymore. You put it on eBay and see how many bids you get for it. You know, you'll be lucky if it even gets viewed. Never mind someone bids for it. That's basically what we're doing. We're getting our creased up players from the back of the wardrobe that we don't want anymore and trying to sell them. People don't want them, unfortunately. Bonjour, monsieur. Wee, 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 wee. PSG. I think PSG play tomorrow. I might actually do a watch along for it. Uh, I'm hearing Mbappe could be staying as well. So we may get one year of the Mbappe, Messi, Neymar front three. I, I get the impression that Mbappe will possibly leave next summer, not this summer. Uh, Jonathan, big up with a super chat. Bro, if I don't hear Leno, you make me sick, boy, at least two or three times, I will be surprised. Mari would do better in this team than Kalasinac. I mean, if you want a team that's going to play out from the back, how are you, like, you've got Leno who's not that comfortable on the ball. Ramsdale looked okay on the ball the other day. And then he's passing it to players like Kalasinac, Rob Holden, who are not comfortable on the ball. So you're asking them to do something that they're not capable of doing. That's my problem with uh, with the Arsenal lineup. But I mean, 
It's going to take an absolute miracle today to win this game. Manaj says, go vote for Curtis, Curtis Shaw TV on all three categories. Now, big up, bro. Mohammed said, Curtis, I voted for you. Really appreciate that. Um, Sheridan, oh, man, I bet you're, you're on an all-time high, aren't you? Said, bonjour, monsieur. We want Arsenal to beat Oil FC. Fraudiola in the mud. Listen, we need that oil ourselves, man. We need these Qatari owners to come and buy Arsenal. The guys that... Um, that bought PSG are interested in Arsenal, but is it just, you know, is it just clout or are they genuinely interested? MS said, uh, I have a bad feeling we're going to get cooked. Big you up, Curtis. It's not impossible. Kieran said, um, what is it? Oh, sorry, Kieran. Hold on. Let me get your comment back. It flew off. Uh, Joe said, big up, Curtis. I can feel an Arsenal therapy coming. This manager needs to go. Man. Someone said we have enough Deadwood to build a bonfire. <laughs> Curtis, what's your prediction? There it is, Kieran. Before we start, vote for you as well, bro. Appreciate that. I mean, I predicted 2-1 to Manchester City, but having seen this lineup, anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. <laughs> if we don't get hold of this game, if we go, if we concede early, I might be hiding behind the sofa and telling you watching this. We need to score first to have any chance. I was Pep leaving out Sterling and Morris for Ferran Torres. I don't get that. I don't know if he if it's because he's a young player and he's trying to develop him, but he's not better than any of them two. Um, so I, I'm I'm baffled by that. Um, maybe Pep feels sorry for Arteta, man. He said, "Listen, I'm going to give you a chance to get a head start. You know, like when you were so much quicker than someone when you was in school. You said, go on, I'll give you a free second head start, and then I'll and then I'll go. And you knew you were going to win the race anyway." I think that's what Pep's doing. He's saying to Arteta, mate, get running and, you know, I'll catch you up. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see, man. The man's giving man a head start. Big up Prince Teddy, go vote for Curtis Shaw TV. Big up, and there you go, he's pinned it even, even more appreciated, my friend. Uh, Alfred says, Curtis, Arteta heard what you said about Mario. I mean, listen, I, I hear it, but Kalasinac could be even worse. Abandon all hope. I mean, what? we got six minutes till kickoff. Um, till the game gets underway. Oh, what's going off here? Six minutes till we kick off. I will show you the starting lineups again. Um, just so you know what the teams are. And, uh, right, let's see what you're saying. The analogy king. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Uh, apparently City have spent 100... Oh, no, no, nah, nah. We can't be saying that. That's bad. That's bad. Obviously, Mendy, man, he's, uh, yeah, he's in a bit of trouble, but he hasn't, you know. Innocent until proven guilty. Alvin said, Arteta, he's not even good enough to be a ball boy, let alone the manager. Let me show you the teams. Let me show you the teams, people. Uh, we are five minutes from kickoff. Here is your Arsenal team. I mean, be proud, people. Be proud. Listen, we got to support them. This is all we've got, I'm afraid. This is all we've got. You know, you just got to back it and see what you can do. Um, Michelle said 1-1. One, one. I, like um, I like your hope and uh, positivity. Uh, Buenos Aires, Guna Curtis, I'm halfway through my seven-pack already. What are you drinking? Yo, bro, the drinks are around, man. Don't worry. Stuff's around uh, in, for when the stress levels kick in. Players are coming out onto the pitch. Here is your Arsenal team. Leno in goal. Back three. Uh, Josh said, I've left my mates to go watch it at home. I think you need to be alone watching this. South London's finally says, Big C, the Qatar owner's son was on Twitter space yesterday. Said he is the one trying to buy Arsenal and there have been discussions between him and the Cronkies. Wow. South London's finest with that exclusive. I love that. Love that. That might give us that little bit of hope that we need, man. But let's hope so, man. They've got 300 billion in their family. Uh, right. Here's your lineup, people, as the players walk out on the pitch. Leno in goal. Uh, back three of Chambers, Holding and Kalasinac. Yeah, I said it. Chambers, Holding and Kalasinac. Kalasinac move to Fenerbahce. Looks like it has collapsed and it appears he's going to stay at Arsenal. And he starts left-sided centre-back. Cedric and Kieran Tierney, right and left wing back. Um, with Granite Xhaka and Smith Rowe centre mid, although on BT they've listed it as Granite Xhaka and Odegaard centre mid. 
uh, with, well, obviously, whichever one plays centre mid, the other one is playing on the left or right with Saka and then Aubameyang through the middle. It is 3-4-3. It's the formation that we beat Man City with in the FA Cup a couple of years ago, but we had a better team on the pitch that day and we were on form. Um, so, yeah, and you look on the bench. Interesting that Hector Bellerin is not even on the bench. Could that signal a potential move? Ramsdale, Oconquo, Tavares, Mari, Maitland-Niles, Lukonga, Elneny, Martinelli and Lacazette. Pepe not involved. He is out with illness. The club have said it is not covid um, and I have to say that the fact that he played on Thursday, on Wednesday, should I say, you know, you can't help but think like, what, what's the problem? You know, obviously he, he could have come down with anything. It could just be a cold or whatever. Um, but you do have to question, you know, how, how, how has he just got ill so quickly when he played on Wednesday night, you know, and he's a big loss for us today. Um, we could have done with him. Two goalkeepers on the bench. Two goalkeepers on the bench. I mean, I don't know if you have to have goalkeepers on the bench. Players running scared. Big C, we're going to do this 3-0. We're going to do this, Robbie Settings. Nobody wants Bellerin. 10th anniversary of the 8-2 defeat. Oh, man. And uh, big up, Jay. I hope you're well, my bro. He said, um, big up, Curtis. The kids have asked why they can't watch the game. I've told them it's rated 18. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this should come with uh, with a, a warning. And I'll quickly, quickly, we're a minute from kickoff. I'll show you the Manchester City team. Edison in goal. Uh, they're playing 4-2-3-1. Walker right back. Diaz and Laporte at centre-back. Cancelo left back. Rodri and Gundogan in the middle with Bernardo Silva in the 10. Grealish on the left. Torres on the right. Gabriel Jesus through the middle. Um... So we'll have to see on the bench, Stefan, Stones, Ake, Sterling, Zinchenko, Fernandinho, Mares, Doyle and Palmer. We're about to kick off. We are about to kick off. 1,700 of you in the chat. Make sure you smash the like button, people. I'm looking for 1,500 likes on here. we got to aim high. Aubameyang's got the gunman look in his face, but, you know, he might have the gunman look. They need to load it up for him. Or can they even get the ball to him? Big up my brother Broads in the chat. Congrats on 34K. Oh dear, Captain Granite, not Granite. Xhaka is the best number 34 we could ever ask for. <laughs> He's probably the 34th best player at the club currently, you know. Uh, people, score predictions. Give me your score predictions. Big up to you guys saying remember the timer. Let me make sure the timer's ready. We are about to kick off. Um, give me your score predictions, people. We are about to kick off and Arsenal set to get us underway. And uh, it's a big game. Time is there. Players are taking the knee. 8-0, uh, 2-0 to City. Curtis, your subs are booming. It's only to the support of you guys. I have to thank all of you. 4-0 City, 6-0 City, 3-1, 2-0 to Arsenal. We're underway, people. We are underway. I went 2-1 City. I mean, I'm going to stick by it. Uh, I'm just going to stick by it in hope. Uh, if we win this game, it will be an absolute miracle. 3-1 City, 2-1 City, 3-0, 4-1, 4-0. 2-1 Arsenal, says Osman. 1-2. Uh, five seconds gone. So far, so good. Yeah, it's still 0-0. It's been a good five seconds. 3-1 <laughs> to City. Balogun don't have no bullets in already. Uh, I don't, yeah, he's not even on the bench. Uh, Pep normally goes easy on his little brother. Yeah, he gets to 2-0. He'll start taking everyone off. Uh, and there we go, Grealish with a heavy touch, throw into Arsenal on the halfway line. We're still in the game, people. We are still in the game. It's been a good 45 seconds so far. Bob Bolden on the ball. Go on, Bob. Finds Leno. Interesting. Manchester City are pressing us straight away. And here we go. Come on, you Gunners. Regardless of what I think of that starting lineup, once the game starts, you know, let's go. Let's do this. I don't care who's on the pitch. You're representing the mighty Arsenal, man. Don't let us down. You know, every team is beatable, even Manchester City. I've seen worse teams beat them. Um, my worry is that because both our wingbacks are natural fullbacks, I don't know how good they'll be going forward. So are we going to look like we've just got five players at the back? But listen, come on. Come on, you Gunners. Let's do this, man. 
Let's nick a victory. International break after this. We cannot be going into the international break with three defeats. We haven't even scored in the Premier. All right, here's Saka. This is what we got to do. Hit him on the counter. Go on, Oba. Left-hand side, Aubameyang. Down this left, whips it in. Not a bad ball. Cedric, ah, he doesn't get there. Here's Odegaard, edge of the box. Come on! I'm hyped up now, you know. Let's do this. Let's turn City over, man. City are on the downer as well. Ronaldo's gone to United. You know what I mean? De Bruyne's not playing. Foden's not playing. Sterling and Mares. Here we go. Oh, Odegaard should have found Tierney then on the left. Press him. Make life difficult. Well done. Let's go. Win that header. Bang. Good header, Kalasinac. Let's do this. Mar um, Jesus is playing on the right. It looks like Ferran Torres is through the middle. Come on. Let's go. I'm pumped up, man. Saturday morning. Don't ruin our weekend. Let's do this. We'll either nick a victory or get spanked. Uh, there will be no in-between, I reckon. Unless Pep, unless Pep goes easy on us. Should have put Ainsley in the wing-back position. He, he's our best right wing-back. I think, you know, like I said before, Broads, I don't know if you saw it, but Everton are, are in talks to sign him. So um, maybe that's got something to do with it. He could be set for a move to Everton, so they don't want to play him. Interesting that Bellerin's not even on the bench, and I've heard nothing about his fitness. Saka loses the ball there. And uh, goes back to Edison. Come on, you gunners, man. Edison goes out wide to Kyle Walker. It's what we have to do. We have to press. You have to make life difficult. Aubameyang presses now. They're forced to go back to Edison. Uh, it's on, people. It is on BT Sport for anybody looking for it on TV. Arsenal could actually win this, to be honest. This false nine stuff don't work for Pep. Sometimes, that's the key word. Big up Fraser in the chat. He's bigging up bros. We're getting a win today, eh? You never know. You never know. It's unlikely, but stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm ahead. Dream come true. Omar, man, jeez. Hi, yo, man. Keep shouting at them. I will. Don't you worry about that. I always start off calm. I progressively get... More high-pitched, right? Good tackle there, Smith Rowe. It does appear that Odegaard is the one playing centre mid next to Xhaka. Um, it looks as if Smith Rowe is, is on the left-hand side. Here's Cedric, finds Odegaard. Well, can Odegaard play this centre midfield role? Man City are pressing us on the ball. Here's uh, Leno. Goes out wide to Kalasinac, gives it to Tierney. Nice football. Played nicely through the press there. Smith Rowe, go on, lad, go on! Yes! Come on! Make a run! Make a run, Aubameyang! Pass! Pass the ball! Go on! Right, here we go. Let's go. Go on! Deliver! Cedric should have passed it earlier, bro! No! We had a counter-attack on as well. Chambers wins it back. Go on. Here we go, Cedric. Come on! Let's do this, man. Let's beat City, mate. Let's beat them. I'm telling you, we owe them a defeat. Odegaard, ball over the top. Great ball into Tierney. Crosses it in, high looping, cross, Saka! Ref! Referee! Oh, it was appealing for a penalty, nothing given. Good start, good start. Great ball by Odegaard out wide to Kieran Tierney. In a lot of space out there, whips it in. Kind of hits Saka on the knee and goes over. He was appealing for a push in the back, but you don't get penalties for them. Craig, big up Craig, big up Curtis. Arsenal, Arsenal! Come on, you gunners! I can't hear you in the comments. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, I'll be hyped up until things go wrong, people. So we keep moving. There we go. Mistake by Kyle Walker. They're rattled. I'm telling you, Ronaldo has got Man City rattled. Yeah, they're vexed. They thought Ronnie was on their way, mate. They ain't got no striker. We can get them. No De Bruyne, no Foden, no Mendy for different reasons. Sterling and Mares on the bench. Ronaldo's gone to United. Let's get hold of them, man. Do you know what I mean? Can beat this petrol station club. You can't show the game, man. Uh, YouTube copyright, I'm afraid. More Mares is on the bench. I'm shocked that Mares and Sterling are on the bench. I don't get that. Let's go for them. Edison's trying to get assists from the edge of his own penalty area. It's crazy. He actually plays like an outfield player. Here's Bernardo Silva playing in that number 10 role. Let's get the likes up, people. Let me know where you are in the world, people. Where you at? I want to know where you're at right now. Where are you? What time is it as well? Because I know with the time difference, some people are watching first thing in the morning. It's probably late at night for some people. Hype before agony, man. You know what I mean? 
Bernardo Silva, ball over the top. Looking for Jesus. He keeps it in down this right-hand side. Decent start for real. Yeah, come on, man. We turn this petrol station over. Well, I hope so. Jesus whips it in back. Pose! They've scored. The petrol station have scored. You lot are a disgrace! Wake up! Gundogan with a header. He's about five foot two. It's a joke. Every single time these men get beat in the air, it's a joke. It is an absolute joke. Who is it? Rob Holding losing headers again. Oh, no. It never changes. Is it, is it Rob Holding getting beat in the air again? Bernardo just helps it out wide. It's a hopeful pass out wide. I I don't, but I just can't believe what I'm watching sometimes with this team. It's just a hopeful ball in. Who's marking him? Chambers. And then Leno gets beat. You are an absolute disgrace. Chambers, win the header! Win the header! Win the header! Gundogan's five foot two! Absolute bowl jobs, mate. Bowl jobs. Chambers, mate. That is embarrassing defending. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. I'm done with this club, man. They're a joke. Look at this fraud, Arteta. Absolute fraud. How is he getting away with this? The club, the lineup, the defending. Ridiculous. Look, man can't, e man can't even stay hyped up for 10 minutes. Eight minutes, seven minutes in. I'm like, what? What am I meant to do now? Try and support the team and look at these bottle jobs. There's a lot of them. Absolute bottle jobs. Callum Chambers. Losing headers to Gundogan. Kelvin said, I'm trying to tidy up while Curtis TV is on in the background. But every time Curtis gets excited, I have to run back. Bro, just turn it off. Turn it off, mate. Turn the TV off. Chambers is at... These man are... What did we call them? Harry and Lloyd. Chambers and... Um, no, it was Holden and... Holden and uh, Pablo Mari. Harry and Lloyd. Dumb and dumber. Chambers is... The dumbest as well. There's three of them. Dumb, dumber, and dumbest. Ridiculous. City haven't even started the game well. It's just a looped cross. Gundogan's small. Look, ball crossed in again. Oh, my days. These, man, you, you're doing this to us first thing in the morning. Like, we're not even awake properly yet. And you're already getting pumped. Third best defense last season. Yeah, but yeah. That's what they said. Oh, we've got the third best, third best defensive record. Oh, you sent Saliba on loan for these absolute bums at the back. Bums, a lot of them. Chambers been relegated twice on loan. These men can't win a header. Imagine what Ronaldo's going to do. He's going to be climbing on these men's shoulders. Why can't they win a header? First shot on goal. First shot. They haven't even started well, and they're winning. I cannot stand this team. The, the, the leadership of Arteta is woeful. It's embarrassing. Look, here they go now. They're starting. They're starting. Look, free kick. Xhaka making fouls. I'm sure Xhaka will add to those 43 yellow cards. Chambers are centre-back. Yeah, I mean, even I said he's better at centre-back than right-back. These men are absolutely shocking. We sent Saliba on loan to play these, these men at centre-back. This, this is sabotage. This ain't normal. This ain't normal. Trying my best to back the team, you know, but this... Look, he's in 2-0. No, no, no! You are a disgrace! Get this fraud out! Get this fraud out! Two-nil! I 
want him gone. Here he is. Here he is. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Take these and stay in Manchester, you absolute fraud. Look at the defending. Bernardo Silva, hopeful cross. Everyone misses it tapping. I've never seen defending like it in my life. I'm, I'm on the verge of switching this off. Look at the defending! Look at it! What are you doing? Cedric's nearly heading his own knee. Oh my god, no, nah, no, nah. honestly, people, anyone who's watching this, if you're seeing this replay, tell me what Cedric is doing. He nearly knocks himself out. Look at Pep. Look at Pep. Look at this. I'm so glad I sold my ticket. We're going to get pumped. Now, nah, look, VAR might save us. Look at Chambers. He's knocked himself out. I can't believe it. They're begging for offside. This is absolutely... I'm done with this. I'm done. He's onside, mate. He's, he's onside. It's going to count. He looks onside. I'm done with this. Goal. Yeah, he's given the goal. Cheers, mate. Cheers. State of this club. State of them. The cone man. The cone man. We hired Manchester City's cone man and thought we were going to have success. He puts these on the pitch. Look at him clapping his hands. What was he clapping for? What are you clapping for? Chambers, is, Chambers has knocked himself out. He's headbutting the floor. Cedric nearly headed his own knee. He didn't know whether to kick it or head it. We're done. We are done. I always have cones around people. I coach my son. We get the cones out. I'm I'm done. I've had enough. We can't we can't we can't deal with no more of this. The 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 the, the pass the damn ball. Saka in the penalty area. Come on. Oh, you can't even beat the first defender. Thierry Henry, mate. I blame you. You set me up. Thierry Henry, if you're watching this, you set me up. You showed me greatness and you led me down a path of darkness and misery. Because this is what this is. I'm so glad I sold my ticket. Imagine me driving three hours to watch this. Oh, there it oh my god, the defense. Oh, man said, you know what? Not enough forest to play in Derby on the other channel. I might have. I'm tempted to turn it off. We'll just go to a Nottingham Forest watch along. None of us deserve this. They're just about to ruin our weekend. Even Forrest are losing. I mean, it, they, oh, I can't believe we're bottom of the league. We are bottom of the league. Trust the process. That's what they told us. Trust the process. We've spent 130 million. We're bottom of the league. Rock bottom. Rock. Bottom of the Prem. We haven't scored a goal in the Prem. We beat West Brom under eights. Look at these defenders. He gave Rob Holding a four-year deal. He's got, go. He's got to go. He's got to go. It's as simple as that. He has to get the sack. He has to get the sack. He's done. He's finished. End it. End it. He's got to go. I don't care how much money he's spent. He's finished. He's finished. You can't just go sit. How come I can watch teams like... Burnley and Brighton play against these big teams and make life difficult and score a goal and stay organised. But when I watch Arsenal, we're like a trifle at Christmas. It's just a big fat mess. Ball whipped in. Oh, they've shot wide. Every single time they attack, they look like they're going to score. Look at Pep. Pep's chilling. Look at him. It's like a training session. It's like a train. It's like a keep ball session. Unmarked for Antares, nine yards out, puts it wide. This is beyond belief. 
Sean Paz, thank you for the super chat. Sorry I got to say, but Man City might score six. Yeah, they might. Saliba can't get a chance in this team. Look at this. These, look, look, look what these man got me doing in, in the morning. I'm pouring beer into a mug with my own face on it. I'm literally mugging myself off. Cheers, everyone. 2 0 down after. <laughs> 2-0 down after 15 minutes. They haven't even started playing well yet. Imagine when they actually turn the heat up. Gio said, Curtis, what the F is going off? I barely started drinking my coffee since it's 4 a.m. Arteta is a dead man walking. He is the clown of the decade. Bro, I appreciate your support, man. Worst manager I've ever seen at Arsenal. Bruce Riott was better. He's the worst. He's the absolute worst. We're bottom of the Premier League after three games. Ronaldo licking his lips. Gio, go back to sleep, bro. The nightmare's already begun. Florida water, 7 a.m. here in Florida. Should I go back to sleep? I'd try. This could end up four or five. Happy, yo, yo, but yo, don't. Happy bank holiday. I'm telling you, I'm not letting them ruin my weekend. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Change that effing shirt. I might take it off at half time. Literally mugging myself. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Edison's trying to pick out assists from defence. I agree with the Arteta out crew. He should bounce if he really... He ain't going to walk, mate. He wants that money. He wants paying up. Who can blame him? Oh, my days. We are a joke. Jonathan, apologies. I miss your super chat, bro. He said, Curtis, why are you getting vexed, bro? We've got three blind mice at the back. Not a single leader anywhere on the pitch. They make me sick, boy. Apologies that I only just saw it, mate. It came off the screen, but I can read it out still. Mate, uh, for some reason, I allow myself to get caught in the, come on, it's a different game. Be positive. Something good could happen. But no, same old nonsense. How did Arteta get the job again? City's just toying with us. Oh, my days. Edison kicks the ball against Smith Rowe. It goes just wide. That's the first chance we've had, and that was a mistake by them, really. Edison gets the ball on his box. He's taking the mick. Look, he's, look, he's trying to knock it. Oh, man, kicks it straight at Smith Rowe. It goes wide. This game is brutal. Can we go straight to therapy? We're going to have to. Where's the press? We ain't got no press. Last payday for Arteta's managerial career. I reckon Pep set us up. He sent him here. He said, listen, do me a favour. Go to Arsenal and make sure they never, ever recover. You'll get sacked. They'll pay you up. When you leave, come back to City and put the cones up. Big up, big C. Could be a cricket score. It could. Worst thing about this game, City are not even playing that well. I promise you. Anyone who's not watching the game, they're not even playing that well. They put two crosses in and our defence... Man are falling over. Man are headbutting the floor. Man are, man are nearly kicking themselves in the face and just missing the ball. It's embarrassing. The team selection was a joke. The team selection was a joke. Rob Holding's hair is growing back. It's all going off. It's all He'll probably get a new contract. I was getting excited, man. I allowed myself to try and get involved in, in the hope that we could win. Turned it off, said Nathan. I don't blame you, man. Chelsea didn't get out of first gear and now City. City aren't even playing well. Bro, I know Arsenal fans that left their house at six o'clock this morning to make it to Manchester. Six o'clock to watch this. Two nil down after 15 minutes. These men are headbutting each other. Look at the football we're playing. It's woeful. We look. I honestly don't think... Brentford would look as bad as this. A team that's just been promoted. Watford. They'll put Deeney up front. They'll get it up, hold it. They'll make life difficult, at least. We are something else. We need oil money desperately. Free your mindset. At this point, I don't mind if we get battered. It's part of supporting Arsenal. Someone get Conte on the phone. I don't think he'd answer the phone call now. 
Burnley have more fight than us. Big up Grey Knight. He said, here in the States, New York, you have to pay to watch it. That's harsh. You do not want to pay to watch this, especially if you're an Arsenal fan. Oh, my days. Flexing that mug. That's all we got now. We're getting mugged off. I might as well, you know what I mean? Oh, my days. Big Sam has charged his phone. Big Sam's better than Arteta. I'm not even bantering either. I'm actually not bantering. Big Sam is better than Arteta. You can quote me. You can clip me. He's better. I've never seen anything like this. This ain't Arsenal. At this point, I'm thinking, this just this ain't even Arsenal anymore. It's someone else. It's something else. Let's get Big Sam in until the end of the season, people. He's better than this guy. <laughs> we got to stay up, man. Like when you need, you know, when you need to survive relegation. You have to start hiring Tony Pulis, Sam Allardyce, Alan Pardew. You know what I'm saying? These men will keep you in the division. They ain't getting you in Europe, but they'll keep you up. Yo, we're bottom of the league. We're bottom of the league, man. Big Sam, get him in. Get him in. No, I'm, listen, I'm, listen. He would do better than what this guy's doing. I actually don't want him in, obviously. You know, I want us to play good football, but... Is Grealish, he gets fouled now. We're a mess. Cedric's getting a yellow card. I'm contemplating turning this off 23 minutes in. Mate. Norwich after the international break. I mean, we're bottom of the Premier League going into this international break. We haven't scored a goal. Six goals conceded. Oh, man. Alfred, big up, bro, said, well, he got all the fighters on the bench, Lacazette, Martinelli, Ainsley, Maitland, Niles, Tavares. Those guys will run till the badge fall off. 130 million spent and we look worse. We actually, what, what did we, we lost 1-0 to City last year away from home. We had a couple of good chances as well. And that was with William, false nine. Christian said, Curtis, we're coached to lose, bro. We turned up today not to get battered. That team just said, please don't batter us. It didn't say we've come here to try and beat you. We're being hustled badly, badly by the whole setup, man. It's the players, mate. Man said, Curtis, help, bro. I wish I could help. I wish I could help. Look at this guy trying to bark instructions. Like, I, I don't think they even listen to it. Just giving instructions, but no one ain't listening. Ryan Mason did better with us than Arteta with you. I mean, listen, neither one of them was good enough, but at least this guy's had time to settle in and try and become a manager. Look, we can't keep the ball. Two free passes, Tierney kicks it out for a throw in. And Arteta's clapping his hands. AirPods, man, what's he listening to? You know, is he listening to us, people? Relegation is smiling at us. This ain't. This is not acceptable. Bottom of the league after three games, he's got to be sacked. He's got. He's got to be sacked during this international break. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've given him the opportunity. He can't complain. He's been backed in the summer. Come on, go on, Jacko. He's offside. Good save by Edison, but the flag's gone up. We're on minus six goal difference. Big old ads in the chat. Hope you're good, bro. I'm just not surprised anymore. When you be when you become used, when you become used to your club losing and embarrassing you, something's not right. No, no Arsenal fan, in fact, no football fan is watching this game and thinking, boy, I'm shocked at how bad Arsenal are, at how easy them goals are. No one is. Arsenal are soft. They're weak. Look at that. Xhaka gets the ball, kicks out for a throw-in. Can't keep the ball. This team are a bunch of soft boys, mate. That's what I said. If I have a daughter and she went out with one of these Arsenal players, I'd tell her to dump him. These men are, these men are soft. They'll run off if they got into a fight. They, they're not about that life. 
You need your fighters on the pitch, minimum, minimum. Even if you don't have the quality, you need them guys that will run through brick walls, make life difficult. City look like they're having a training session and they're not even playing that well, I promise you. We've all seen Man City when they play well and they're moving the ball. They've got no De Bruyne, no Foden, no Mares or Sterling. Mares and Sterling are on the bench. Foden and De Bruyne are injured. Mendy's out for, obviously, you've probably heard the reasons. And look at us. Look at the state of us. Man, I'm saying we are bottom of the league. I said we are bottom of the league. Yo, 2021, bro, and this is what man are doing. He's got to go. Arteta just shouted at Xhaka, play the ball forward. Bro, you asked this brother to stay. You knew what you was going to get when you off. There you go. You gave him a four-year deal. Don't moan at him. Don't start asking him to play forward. He's never played forward. He don't play forward. Look at that. Kalasanach wiping man out, free kick. Oh, he's getting a booking now. All these bums in defence are getting booked. Cedric's on a yellow. Kalasanach is on a yellow. Clowns, mate. Absolute clowns, a lot of them. And Saliba, a £27 million and Mbappe of centre-backs. Look at Kalasinac. Just wellied him in the face. Oh, oh, the Hulk. The man's horrible. These lot are just... Everything that's been built up by Arsenal, the pride, these lot are taking it out of them. Zed Blogger said, who told Arteta that Chambers and Kalasinac are better than Saliba at centre-half since when is Odegaard a centre-mid? Arteta should be sacked at half-time. It is absolutely... It's, it's, it's a disgrace. Didier Drogba, mate. It's a disgrace. It's a joke. We have to question why they don't have any fight in them at the bare minimum. You have to get stuck in. You can point that at the players, I have to admit. But the manager does set them up wrong. Free kick. Gundogan whips it in. Ah, oh, Tierney flicks it on for a corner. Embarrassing. I feel sorry for them fans, man. Travelled up to watch this load of rubbish. Absolute load of rubbish. Every time they cross the ball, they look like they're going to score. They're not even. They're not even a team that you associate with scoring from crosses. Manchester City. Two yellow cards in our defence. Big up the green goon. I hope you're well, my bro. Bro, I'm actually disgusted at this. We get we get insulted at Pundit saying we've got a soft underbelly. They're 100% right. No one taking the reins. No one barking at other players. Just rolling over. Disgusted. Gundogan whips it in. Leno collects it. You're spot on. You know, these they ain't got it in them. They ain't got it in them. They're just soft. They're just soft, man. They're not up for the fight. They don't represent Arsenal properly. I'm sorry. I hope people don't think I'm being negative. I'm being realistic. The fans deserve better than this. The minimum any fan base deserves is a team that is giving their all, that is visibly trying their best, giving everything. They're just walking past us. They're putting crosses in. The ball's bouncing in the penalty area. Free kick to Arsenal on the halfway line. We've hardly had a shot. Get the Qataris in. We need that oil money, man. We need that oil money. Pep Teta said, bro, you too smart. Not going to watch this ish team. Big up. Man want to turn the game off. We need to get a goal back, surely. Aubameyang gets muscled by Kyle Walker. Throw into City in the corner, near their uh, corner flag. Now, Allegri's back at Juve, you know, Chris. Uh, Conte. But well, Listen, it's getting so bad. I don't know. If, how could you ring Conte? and say, come and take Arsenal. We're bottom of the league. Maybe at the start, this is why I said, start of the season, the move should have been made. You, you've got a chance. You can buy players. You've just blown 130 million on players that don't really make us much better. And we're bottom. Tierney in the penalty area, ref! That's for me! What's that? He appeals for a penalty. Ref says, no, that's got to go to VAR. He heads it over Kyle Walker, gets into the penalty area. Walker gives him a little nudge. Is that a penalty? I think that, nah, it's soft. It's soft, but we're desperate, so I need it. No, VAR says no. Computer says no. <laughs> oh, man, we're all over the place. Curtis Therapy tomorrow, yeah, it'll be happening. Come on, man. Let's at least get a goal and make it competitive. Smith-Rowe's got the ball, no one to pass to. They just take it off him. 
City are horrible to play against, you know. When they win the ball back, they just bop you. You run after the ball, just popping triangles around you. Ah, oh, Puni, all or nothing needs to be renamed. Nothing at all. Ah, oh, you're spot on. Nothing. Nothing or nothing, they should call that. Curtis, bro, I, I, there's nothing I can say. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? We're 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 a mess. I've never seen Arsenal this bad in my entire life. Bottom of the league after three games. City on the counter. Finally, somebody wins the ball back. Let's smash the likes, people. Can we get over a thousand likes? Listen, apologies for the lack of quality on the pitch. If only I could influence it, but. We try our best to at least watch the game in the most entertaining fashion, but I wish I could be more positive, man. I was actually hyped up at the start of this game, and now look, the goals are just too easy that we concede. There's not even any real quality in them, you know? Um, Curtis, desperate for penalties. Bro, desperate times, desperate measures. Roy Hodgson will save you. Oil or nothing. That Yo, that's what they need to call it. Odegaard on the ball gets yapped. Soon as he gets the ball, press, take it off him. But we don't do it. We don't press. City are playing in fourth gear. Bro, this is first or second gear. We're in trouble here. Gundogan, two players out wide. One of them is Jack Grealish into the penalty area. Cedric's in trouble. Oh, it's a poor pass by Grealish. Goes backwards to Cancelo. Cancelo, nutmeg Cedric. Goes into the penalty area. Paul Cross, they're appealing for a penalty. Nothing given. Cedric got nutmeg there. He's on a yellow card now. So now he's going to struggle um, when he's defending. Oh, man. It is bad. Uh, what are we saying here, people? At least they scored. Uh, mate, we need to score. Worst start ever. Three defeats so far if we lose this, which it looks like we probably are. Big up Jonathan with the super chat. Players are not passing. Um, to play the ball. They're passing because they are scared to lose it. I hear you. Down two goals. Only ESR, Saka and Tierney Kier. Mate, imagine if KDB, Sterling, Mares, Foden were playing as well. Like, come on. they've Some of their best players aren't even playing. Looks like City training against their under-18s. You know, you just bring the, the youth team over for a bit of keep ball at the end. Just to bop them. This is what they're doing to us. Kelvin said, I'm going to pause your stream and come back later. Hopefully, when I tune in, you will be happy. I remember West Brom midweek. I mean, we were playing West Brom reserves, you know, if we're keeping it 100. Um, this is this is real football, man. This is big boy football and we can't handle it. You know, that's the reality, man. It's sad. Can we... Listen... The thing is, if you're Arteta, you've still got to encourage the team that if we get a goal back, the game's still on. Red card. Red card for Granite Xhaka. Do I turn this off? Just let me know, people, because I'm ready to just go out and go for a walk. Granite Xhaka has been sent off. This, you know what? It's his, do you know whose fault this is? It's his fault. It's his fault. Look at this. Look at this from Xhaka back. I mean, is that a red card? But he comes in, yeah, he's out of, yeah, he's out of control. He's Do I turn this off? Look at, Jacques, look at Arteta trying to justify it. Oh, he didn't touch him. Oh. The fans are walking. Fans are walking out. I've never seen it. They're leaving. Arteta gave Jacques a new four-year contract. We're done. We're done, people. Ten men, two nil. We got... 
I don't know what to say. This man, you're slapping him on the back. What are you doing, Arteta, you fraud? Why are you slapping him on the back? Should be slapping him round the face, bruv. Man, slapping him on the back. Oh, well done, mate, for getting sent off, you mug. Slap him round his head and say, listen, mate, you're never playing for me again. Absolute fraud. What's happened to this football club? What has happened to this football club? We're going to lose 5 or 6 nil. Ball whipped in corner. I'm done. I'm done with this whole team. I'm done. I don't want to watch them ever again. Man, slapping him on the back. Why are you slapping him on the back? Should have slapped him around the face. So glad I didn't go to this game. These men don't deserve any, anything from this football club. The cannon is too heavy for these bums. Excuses will continue to save Arteta. Oh, go oh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a red. It wasn't a red. He didn't make much contact. I don't care. He jumped. He jumped. He was out of control. Shot over the bar, City. Four more years of granite, Jacko. Thank you very much. This absolute fraud. Worst manager I've ever seen at Arsenal. Corner to Manchester City. Headed away. Apologies, people saying I'm missing Super Chat. Sorry, people. My head's all over the place. Can't believe what's happened to us. 2-0 down, down to 10 men. Man are walking out the ground in the first half. In the first half. A fam said, what did I say, Curtis? I said, Jackal will make an error leading to a goal. I told you guys, stop playing this guy. Bro, this clown just gave him four years on a pay rise. Remember Kevin Campbell saying, I think he's made the right decision? City whipped in, head up, goes wide. It's a corner. This is something else. Jonathan, he fully almost had a pop at the fans for booing. They've got every right to boo. They've just travelled four hours to watch you 2-0 down. It's a shambles. Blessing in disguise. Three more games without him. We was going to lose this one anyway. We might as well lose Xhaka. I just can't. I, I hear you, but I just can't. I can't see it like that. We're so bad. We could lose this game 6-0. This could, this could be an absolute annihilation. Corner whipped in, cleared away. We're just hanging on now. We ain't going to We ain't going to score. We'll be lucky if we get a shot on target. They're going to... This is the worst team in England that you could go down to 10 men against because they keep the ball better than anyone else. We ain't going to see the ball. This is crazy. These men actually had me hyped up for this game. Oh, man. It, it literally can't get no worse. Oil me up, man. I'm telling you. Oil, we need that oil money. Oh man, Arteta's trending. Of course he is. Early Swiss cheese break. <laughs> Oh, Jesus nearly got in. Bottom of the league. Wow. Wow. Going out. Yeah, listen, enjoy your holiday, man. Arteta out is trending. Oh, man, don't let... Listen, people, I say this all the time. Don't let them ruin your weekend. They do not deserve it. They don't care. They don't care. They, look at that performance. This is unbelievable what I'm watching.
Oh, man, people. I don't know what to say. I'm not often short of words. City are on the attack. We're in trouble. Ball out wide. Grealish goes into the penalty area. Chambers all over the place. Grealish pulls it back. 3-0. Gabriel Jesus. I might have to turn this off. I might. I don't know if I can watch 45 more. It's just, just wave the white flag and end the fight. Just end it. I can't watch no more of this. 3-0, Gabriel Jesus. It's annihilation. We're done. We're done. This can end up whatever City want it to end up. I've, I've never seen... This is the worst I've ever seen. I mean, I mean, I actually feel like I'm in football in pain. Look at Chambers. Does nothing at all to stop the cross. Jesus having a touch in the six-yard box. Chambers, go to the ball. What are you doing? Where's Leno going? He's run out of the goal. Jesus has had a bad touch and still scoring. 2005, Arsenal, Selvier, 2021, convinced Xhaka to stay and make him captain. It's over. It's over. It's over. It is over. Three nil down. Look, they're on the attack again. It's three nil in the first half. This half could not have gone worse. Ball whipped in, flicked away, corner. I can't believe what I'm watching. These men are in front of my eyes, just crumbling, just disappearing. Pep's probably saying, "Listen, man, shall I just stop? Shall I just stop now?" Matthew said, "Don't get me wrong, we're pathetic. So is Arteta. We've been absolutely outclassed um, by the ref." I mean, the ref hasn't been great, but look at that. We can't play one pass. We can't play one ball. We, oh. I cannot believe Arteta slapped Xhaka on the back as he walked off. He should have slapped him around the face. Pep Teta, happy birthday, bro. Don't let him ruin your birthday. Try and enjoy yourself. Wizard, remember the days when City used to battle relegation? Bro, they were getting relegated. General said Ar Arsenal literally just here because they don't want to forfeit beforehand. Match was lost before it kicked off. City C team could beat these lot. Turn it off. People saying it wasn't a red. It was a clumsy tackle, though. Maybe not because the contact looked minimal, i got to be honest. But Wow. Oh, my days. Goes back to Edison. We've got two minutes till half time. Bottom of the league. Minus seven goal difference. Bring back West Brom reserves. It felt good on Wednesday night. That's why I enjoyed it. That's why I enjoyed it, mate. They're taking the mick out of us. It's a keep ball session. Man City training session. Imagine me going. Imagine me going to this £60 for the ticket and then petrol, travel, food. I would have gone. I would have left. But it's only three games. Oh, mate, we're bottom of the league. Pep needs to take mercy on us, man. Put Edison up, got, you know, up front or something.
Oh, sack him at half time. People, what a half of football. I don't I don't even know what to say. You have saved your money, yeah, but I haven't saved the embarrassment. Just blow the whistle, ref, man. Just end the game. Just end it. FIFA settings, just quit at half time. Arteta needs more time. Don't you start doing that, Chuck. You know, you know that. They, and do you know what I mean? They've still got Mares and Sterling on the bench to bring on. <sighs> Big C, as they say in dance, or what does he say? It's flown off the screen. Apologies. Welcome to Curtis Shaw, PSG TV. <sighs> as they say in dance, or no mercy. Yeah, man. Pep might just want to send out a message. Beat us five or six. They're in the penalty area again. They're taking the mick out of us. They're taking the mick. So that's 43 yellow cards now and four red cards for Granite Xhaka. Halftime whistle goes. One of the worst 45 minutes I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. These men are walking off the pitch. Man City players cracking jokes. Jonathan said Xhaka should have felt the tone of the match. If Cedric got a yellow for pulling up Grealish, he was always going to get a red. No excuse here. A kid. Listen, the contact is minimal. But the challenge is clumsy. What? What Has he not learned his lesson? Or Shane said, uh, the disrespect, Curtis. Man City training session is harder than this. Mate, the mannequins would work harder than this. The positive is that Xhaka won't play the next game. Curtis Xhaka didn't even touch him. Sometimes they give you a red card for intent, though. Sometimes you don't even have to make contact. If I swing a punch at your face and miss you, they ain't going to say, well, it didn't hit him. It's a two-foot tackle off the floor. Uh, you know, the intent is it's dangerous and out of control. So, yeah, Akeem, my bro, like, Arteta has to be sacked after this. These men will find a way not to sack him. That's the thing. They'll dress it up and say, oh, the referee, Xhaka, we were still in the game when Xhaka gets sent off. You already know the excuses he's going to come with. Waffle settings, man. Mick Cross, every day I'm waffling. You know what he's going to say. Alfred said, we have the worst English talent in the league. Chambers holding and Ketia, Ainsley, Ben White. I mean, listen, Ben White, I'll give him an opportunity. Ainsley, wing back, I think would have been all right today. But ultimately, he looks like he's going to get sold. But yeah, some of the others are terrible. Two-footed always, red contact or not. It's the intent. It's got nothing to do with the contact. It's a red. You're out of control. It's dangerous. Grab a beer on me, bro. Marcus, yo, I'm already halfway through, you know. I'm drinking out of a mug, my own mug, mugging myself off. Jeez. I actually started this, this game hyped up as well. Look at the bright side. Jacker won't be in the team next game. I mean, it'll be on any. It's not much better. Emperor Tinfoil, Curtis, think of the absolute scenes when the Amazon documentary comes out. It's going to be the biggest documentary that the world's ever seen, mate. We're going to be a laughing stock. That's the problem. This can't carry on, man. What has happened to this club? Don't even know what to say. I'm relieved it's half time. I'm like, yo, I'm having a breather. Like, yo. I can't watch no more of this. Painful to watch. 2,600 of you in the chat, people. Really appreciate your support. Obviously, all the gooners in here, I apologize, man. This is this is brutal. And I appreciate you still supporting the channel, despite this embarrassment of a, of a performance. When's it going to end, mate? Don't forget one football sponsor in the channel. Link in the description below. Go and download that free app. Latest transfer news. We're going to have to sign someone after this. And uh, hopefully we'll be looking for a new manager. And uh, don't forget to uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're, we went past 34k yesterday. So big up to all of you. Don't forget to vote. Football content awards. Best new content. Best content and best in video. Link is in the description. Uh, sniper scope on respotted outside the stadium, pulling up his own statue. <laughs> Sack Arteta, mate, please. Ian Wright face. This is beyond embarrassing. I'm actually sitting here now thinking, what's the score going to end up in this game? This can be anything City want. If they really want to go for us, they could win this 6-7-0. 
I'm hoping Pep takes mercy on us and just takes it easy from that. They've still got Sterling and Mares on the bench. He was making it easy for the ref to send him up. You could see the ref was happy to hand out cards. So the last thing you do is run over there and try and two-foot someone. My question is, when you saw the fixtures, what did you think was going to happen? The Brentford loss guaranteed a zero free start. No, listen, I'll tell you what. We should have beat Brentford. I don't care what anyone says. Chelsea, we should have competed. And yes, yeah, City away, maybe a loss. We should be on at least three points and have scored four or five goals. And comp we haven't competed in all three games. It's not so much that, all right, the expectation was probably beat Brentford, lose to Chelsea, lose to Man City. It's that we haven't scored. We haven't competed. We got destroyed by Lukaku. We've been embarrassed today and we got bullied at Brentford. It's the manner. It's the manner of it. Legend of Renegade, big up bro, said, Big C, I can't wait for Sangria Southgate's excuses after the game about the red card and COVID, as he always do. Burn the kit. Oh, mate, I'm tempted. Trust me. Disgraceful from Xhaka. This man never learns, and yet they rewarded him. Shaquille said, Curtis, when you think about it, we were mid-table material from top four days because we had terrible records against all the top six rivals home and away. We were heading in this direction. Yeah. I think Emery and then the start of Arteta's reign, we started to turn that around a little bit, but it's just gone downhill again. We're back to square one. Rated 18. Yeah, this should this should come with a warning. You should have to put ID in to watch this because this is like a horror movie. Bro, these men are going to find excuses. Waffling FC. Listen, Mick Ross can't get out of this. No, every day I'm waffling on this, mate. You're, you're, it's your fault. You picked Kalasanac, you sent Salibra on loan, you played Odegaard centre mid in a midfield two, and you gave Granit Xhaka a new contract. It's all on Arteta, this performance. Arteta should be arrested after the match for crimes to football. Uh, I need therapy, mate. It'll be a two-hour one tomorrow. Where is the process we have to trust? It? Oh, there was never no process. Processed cheese, mate, that fake plastic wobbly cheese that they put on burgers. It's fake. It's not even real. Throw in the towel. Apollo. Yo, get him out of there, man. Apollo can't take no more. Ivan Drago's killing him in there. Throw the throw in the towel. You know what I mean? We can't take no more. Rocky four settings. Ramesh said Arteta will say we lost the game, but one valuable experience. Arteta will say, I guarantee it. I can guarantee it. Arteta will say, even at 2-0, we were still in the game. We still had a chance. And Xhaka gets sent off and he doesn't make any contact. That's what he's going to say. So we forget about the fact that they'd scored two goals just from hopeful crosses and we couldn't even defend them. We're headbutting each other in defence. And you've picked one of the worst Arsenal teams we've ever seen, Kalasinac playing. The first goal is absolutely disgraceful from Callum Chambers. It's embarrassing. Leno can't really do much about it, but... Qatar is in Arteta out. We need that oil money, man. Fire Arteta now. Ainsley would have done better than Cedric, 100%. I think they're going to sell him. He's probably our best right back. That all or nothing going to be next level. It'll break records. Jay Kelly said, Curtis, I think this will be seven goals. Very hard to support this club. Not the same Arsenal of old. I don't have a positive word to say about us anymore. I try, man. You lot know at the start of the stream, I try. I always try and be positive. It's hard to be positive when you're seeing this. Oh, the Guna, I'm not even peed off anymore. I expected this. Uh, Aloese said, uh, one quality player for 100 million and five patch players for 130 will surely be different. We want to be in the top four with Holding and Chambers. We are jokers. Sangria Southgate. But Curtis, he didn't even touch him. Intense enough in the modern game, my friend. You don't have to. Like I said, if I swing for your head in football and miss you, the ref ain't going to say, well, he didn't punch him. I'll let him off. Intent is enough. It was a dangerous tackle. The stream on AFTV is crashing over 37K. I'm not surprised. People are tuning in to watch us have meltdowns, unfortunately, Arsenal fans. Uh, but appreciate the super chat, Nemo. Much appreciated. Matthew said, I miss Venga. Yeah, I think I'm the same. And I wanted him out, but it's got worse. Hello, darkness, my old friend Thierry, Burkamp, Vieira, Ian Wright. You set us up. You set the lot of us up. We thought we were walking into greatness. We were walking into misery and pain. 
Chris79 said, Big C, watch Arteta blame the ref. How do you know that? Oh, I'm already prepared for it. Curtis, is it time to sign for Man U? Nah, nah, we'll go PSG. We'll go abroad. Listen, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. We're trying to support our club. Fans are leaving. And not one or two, you know. There's a good group of fans there leaving after that red card saying, that's it, I'm going home. What am I doing in Manchester when my team's 2-0 down, 3-0 down with a red card? The game's over. Sack him in the tunnel. He shouldn't even be allowed to do the team talk. When he starts talking, I say, listen, shut your mouth. Get yourself home. You ain't saying nothing. Jake said, got a Liverpool fan texting me. How sad is it? These men feel sorry for Arsenal now. They don't even banter me anymore. They're like, yo, I can't believe how bad you are. I actually want you to get better just so we can compete and have fun again. Big C, how are you even watching this? I know, I know. You know, I, I'll... Listen, I, I want to, I'm not a quit. I'm not going to quit the stream, but I'm. Uh, this second half could get brutal. It could get even worse. There's no more excuses. There's no hiding place. None whatsoever. He's done. Should have got the defeatables on the back of your shirt. Terrible. Kevin Campbell just messaging me, man. I'm just going to give him my response about that half. Mick Ross, oh, mate. He will have the excuses out. The family, big up, bro. This is an extension of our preseason. It's only preseason, they said. You know, it's got nothing to do with the season. Look, it's exactly the same. Right, is ripping up Arteta and the club. He better be because he don't say much about them. You know, he's been very defensive of this manager. Emery is laughing now. Emery's in the Champions League, mate. Europa League winner. Sterling and Mares on the bench. It's the weather, Kurt. It's the sun's in their eyes. Josh says 9-0. Brandon said, Big C, since the start of 2016, no player has been sent off more often in the Prem than Granite Xhaka. Four, level with Fernandinho and David Luiz. Wow. Thomas, thank you for the super chat. Said, it's not even raining ties. <laughs> um, bead, shall I say? Uh, absolutely expected this, to be honest, that Arsenal. Absolutely embarrassing. Mikel has to go, but he ain't going to walk, and I don't blame him because he wants the pay. He wants the pay up. This board, are they brave enough to make the decision? Bottom of the league. We've got to hold this for two weeks, you know, international break, England games and all that. We're going to have to hold being bottom of the league. I, I don't know if we're going to score in this game, so that'll be opening three games, no goals and three defeats. You can't get much worse. Kev will say we have to wait until Aziz gets back from his loan before we judge our tell. Aziz, of course, going on loan to, um, to uh, Portsmouth, I think it is. What a football club. Where do we go from here, Curtis, really, Zach? I don't know. I think we're at rock bottom. I don't think the club's ever been in a worse position than this, ever. It can't get worse. We're bottom of the league. So we are at rock bottom. Bottom of the league, haven't scored a goal. No one looks happy. No style of football. we got nothing. And say so we go to the championship. I reckon it's sabotage from Mikel, man. Pep sent him here to ruin us. I'm just looking at the stats, right, of that first half. 73% possession, Manchester City. 73%. Like... It's a keep ball session. We've had two shots off target, not one shot on target. He should not be allowed to come back out in the second half. Should be relieved of his duties at half time on WhatsApp. WhatsApp him, tell him to just leave the stadium. This man gave Rob Holding a four year contract. 
Rob Holding got four more years, and then he's give Xhaka four years, and Chambers missing headers against Gundawan, who's about five foot four. Apologies, Steve. AFC Steve said, Curtis, you missed my super chat. Just repeat the comment, bro. Do it normal. Don't do a super chat. I'll read it out. Apologies, bro. Pep after beating a 6 0, Arteta is a genius. These lot are doing it on purpose. They're doing it on purpose, man. They want him to stay there so we never recover. All the managers big up Arteta. They know he's crap. This is a disgrace to our club. Saliba could do so much in this team. Not according to this manager. According to this manager, he's not good enough. We have the most red cards in the Premier League under this manager. Ten red cards. Lack of discipline. Look, what is he? Well, like, what is he? What does he even do? He just sits there. He just sits there. What is he even thinking? He's got no personality or nothing. Apparently, I missed a couple of super chats. Apologies, Taylor. Is it said? Uh, I missed a super chat as well. Um, Oh, he's bringing on El Nenny for Saka. Hey! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can't wait. Hey, 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 hey. Stop panicking, everyone. Stop panicking. El Nenny is on. We're good. We're good. You know? We're good. El Nenny is on. We'll be all right. They brought Zinchenko on for Kyle Walker. We're bringing on El Nenny. We're finished. Just delete the club. Go on FIFA and delete it and start again. Call us North London Red like Pro Evo. Second half about to begin. Hilo Romina said, uh, Big up, Curtis. Liverpool fan here. Just your energy during the first five minutes alone is the reason why your club should be saved. Genuine passion. No City fan is starting with that much hype. Mate, if only it counted for something. Unfortunately, the players don't replicate it. You know, they don't replicate it. So it's difficult. But I appreciate your comment, bro. Much appreciated. All the comments are flying in. Over 3,000 of you in here. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Support the channel. Like the video. Can we get a couple of thousand likes on the video? Loz, incredible. Apologies. Super chat's flown off. Uh, it said, should have taken the 12 for Xhaka instead. We gave him a raise. That alone is enough to get fired. Edu and Arteta are out. Kronke, sell the club. And we bring on El Nenny to try and rescue us, man. You just couldn't write it, could you? You could not write it. We are something else. Um, here comes City down this right-hand side. Cancelo's gone on the right, plays the ball in. Oh, goes all the way across out for a goal kick. That could have been another goal. Uh, we need to do everything we can to get Conte. It's getting so bad, I'm not sure he would come here now. Uh, AFC Steve said, uh, my super chat was the fans all gas mid. We fully deserve this. Listen, I was involved. I was gassed. Listen, I wasn't gassed in the sense that we're going to be some super team all of a sudden. I was gassed in the sense that we won a game of football. We scored some goals. It was something to believe in. But I didn't expect us to be this bad, bro. I didn't expect us to go City and get done like this. This is humiliation. Man said we're getting West Bromed. Big old Alfred, bro. He said, Curtis, as much as we don't rate El Elneny, is more useful in a game like this than Xhaka. Just not at the expense of Bakayo. I hear you. Law's incredible. Again, apologies if I miss your super chat. Just uh, write it again. Uh, just put a normal message and I will read it. Apologies for that, man. I actually don't know how you put um how you put slow mode on the chat, people, um, because there's comments are flying in. Over 2,750 of you in it. Give Conte the blank check. Taylor Chains, appreciate your support, bro. Apologies if I missed your earlier uh, comment. Said, all good, Big C. Look at the back three. How do we bridge the gap? Um, those lot wouldn't get in Everton, Spurs, uh, Leicester, West Ham, and the Manchester clubs, Chelsea and Liverpool. This is it. We're dealing with players that aren't good enough and expecting success. It's not going to work. Uh, we need a new manager that can get more out of the players that we've got. And listen, the window closes on Tuesday. We have to go and get a couple of players in. This team is dreadful. I know we've got Ben White, Gabriel Parte missing, but still, this is embarrassment. City win the ball back there. Um, big up Ageless Tuba. Thank you very much for the super chat. Big up Kurt from Australia. Hearing right here half time, calling it abysmal. We went from footballers like Cess, Nasri, RVP, Wilshaw, Santi and Ozil to bullies like Jacko, Kalasanach, and El Nenny. 
how the standards have fallen, my friend. Thank you very much for your super chat. Likes are already at 1.3k. Big up to all of you. Can we get 1.5? It it just helps the channel, man. You know, the more interaction, comments, likes, um, the channel gets supported more. But big up to all of you legends for your support, despite this horror show. Jack Grealish looks for Gundogan. They gives it away. Goal kick to Arsenal. Um, Paul, thank you for the super chat. Said uh, being at home with a nice drink and a shisha, and hyped to see a nice game with that hope. Ten minutes later, it's over. I was chilling first ten minutes as well, bro. You know what I mean? I was happy. I was singing songs, and then look, goal, 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 red card, done. Uh, get Wenger back. At this point, we're so desperate, I'd take him till the end of the season. Uh, Gunalicia said, uh, I reckon Arteta is sabotaging the club knowing he's getting sacked soon. I mean, who takes off Saka for El Nenny? Who plays Kalasinac when he's useless? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Arteta out. Control alt delete settings. It, it, something like that. Need to just start again. Uh, Brick Top said, first time on your channel, bro. Been Arsenal for 35 years. Never seen us so bad. I like... I find it difficult. You, you know, when you're making content, you you want to be able to try and offer up solutions or explanations. Here comes City again. Bernardo Silva shoots. Leno saves it. Cleared edge of the box. Another shot comes to Bernardo and we scramble it away. Um, yeah, Bricktop, I'm struggling to give answers. I don't know how it's got this bad. We've just spent 130 million and we look worse. The manager is not connected with this club. And these players, the FA Cup was great, but you have to build on that in the league. The league is the justification of how good are you as a manager. Um, And he's not good enough. Respectfully, we have to go in a different direction. Appreciate you tuning in. Stress FC says caps. You know, they had more chances there. A couple of shots on goal. Leno made a big save. Sydney Guna, where do we go from here? We're so bad that the only way is up. Listen. Let me try and offer a little bit of perspective here just to try and make things seem a little bit better, right? We go into the international break. Gabriel will be back. Ben White will be back. Thomas Partey will be back. They're three important players for us. We play the likes of Norwich, Burnley and Brighton after the international break. Obviously, the North London derby as well. If we can get one or two in before the window closes, get those three players back, Get points against your Norwich, your Burnley, your Brighton, North London derby at home. We have to turn up. We have to hope that we can get points after the international break. But apart from that, there's nothing I can offer you. We're bottom of the league. We haven't scored. We've lost three out of three. There's very little I can offer you apart from that, people. I'm trying my best, seriously. Call Wenger said, Sid. Mexican Guna said, I can't stand this, Curtis. Buenos Aires, Guna, how is Arteta still there? Um, birthday shout out to Johnny AFC London Badland. Shout me out. See birthday today, bro. I'm, I'm your channel is brilliant, honest and passionate. Happy birthday to you, bro. Have a good day. As I always say, when Arsenal slip up, don't let them ruin your weekend. Try not to, man. You know, they don't deserve that kind of emotion. Here's Jack Grealish in the penalty area. Shoots. It's blocked. Comes back out. It's going to be a long half. And uh, we force them back. Zero tactics at all, says Jack. O'Shane said, uh, Arsenal FC, Arsenal Football Circus. Remember, Spurs beat this City team. It's 4-0. It is 4-0 to Manchester City, people. Rodri has scored. It goes from bad to worse. Little through ball. Turns onto his... Uh, Leno gets beaten easy. It's 4-0. I don't know what to say. I've got nothing to say. It's so easy. They're toying with us. Bruh. Four nil. I don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. That's it. I've got the volume turned down. People are saying Arsenal fans were celebrating the goal. Good finish. Bottom corner. Bends it. Oh, it's an unbelievable finish. 
Four nil to Man City, people. We're down to ten men. We're four nil down. Chelsea Fanny, I feel sorry for you guys. Never thought I'd say it. It's not the same league without Arsenal. Look at Arteta. Please, mate. You got a war. Even 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 the guy on the touchline, the fourth official, is looking at Arteta like, what are you doing it? Leno would be German number one if he went to a team with a defence in front of him. For three years, he's had to make five amazing saves per game. I still think he's not as good as um, Ter Stegen and Neuer, but I've got nothing to offer anyone. There's nothing. Four nil. Oh my days! Spurs beat this team with no Harry Kane. This is a this is a massacre. Ball whipped in. Oh my days! City nearly scored again. It goes wide. This is this is something else. This is something. This is the worst watch along we will ever see, ever. I'm sick of this club. Of course I am. No Arsenal fan can be enjoying this. This is awful. No noise. It's just... They should just walk off the pitch. I'm sure when you forfeit a game, you automatically lose 3-0. Spent 113 to get... Mate, we spent 129. It's even more. I said 6-0 when Xhaka gets sent off. Corner to City. Headed away. Shot by Zinchenko. Oh, my days. It's blocked. Another corner. We move from Highbury for this. Apollo lights out in slow motion. Oh, man, Yishak, thank you with the super chat, bro. Big fan, Curtis. We went from a team that no other in the league can beat to one that everyone can under this ownership. And we support them by putting on the weekly kit they shoved down our throat. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? I'm wearing the kit, so I'm part of that. Um, but we had a protest last week. Did people turn up? No. Oh, give him a chance. He spent money. He's just signed Odegaard and Ramsdale. What's that gonna do? No disrespect. Arsenal fans are celebrating. What they are they what they Arsenal fans are jumping up and down celebrating. People obviously I have the volume turned down, so let me know what's going on with the with the Arsenal fans. You know what? They've probably had enough. They're probably saying, you know what? Traveled three hours to this. I'm just gonna have a bit of a day out in Manchester. Stephen Morris said, surely if it's six or seven, he has to resign. He won't resign. Six million a year. Would you resign? You're going to wait for them to pull you in the office, say, right, there's 10 million, you're sacked. These managers don't resign nowadays. You know, it has to be a, a sacking. Big up, Stephen. I appreciate your super chat, bro. Andy Arsenal for Europe. Apologies, I missed your last super chat, bro. There's so many comments coming in at the moment. Big up to everyone with the support. You missed my last super chat. Xhaka extension. Number two, no Basuma because of Arteta's extension. Free Kalasinac in the team again. He's got to go today. I agree. Absolute facts. And they're taking off Bernardo Silva now. Who are they bringing on? Um, it'll be a star, whoever comes on. But, you know, just Raheem Sterling. Just Raheem Sterling off the bench. You know, he's even quicker. He's going to rip us apart. Smith row on the ball. They just take it off him. Where are you going, little man? Commentator said, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Even the commentator's bantering us. Robert said, the fans are the reason he's still here. He didn't pull through with the protest. Fans were backing him too much, you know. At one stage, there was a real divide. Uh, Sam, apologies. Miss Super Chat said, uh, we continue to feed the club with our hard-earned wages and it has to stop. Aubameyang gets dragged off for lacquer, armband off. These, are my, yeah, these men probably want to leave, man, I'm telling you. Lacazette for Oba. Lacquer takes the armband. Oh, man. 
Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I've got, I think I've caught up to date with all the Super Chats. Apologies, people. Uh, what is Kalasinac doing playing? We've been asking it since the start of the game. Sterling hat-trick incoming. Good result for Arsenal. Arteta for life. Hey, Moses, relax with that trolling. We can't deal with that right now. Aubameyang off to Juve. Raheem Sterling licking his lips. Greg says, we lose party and Gabriel and the team is a... He's a rec league. City is pulling Sterling off the bench. Right, he just bashed Arteta on live telly. Was he hammering him? Or the best watch along. He may get sacked, Curtis. I hope so. You know, that would be the one silver lining if that happened on the back of this embarrassment. Here's Grealish. Whips out wide. Zinchenko crosses it in. Oh, I thought he was looking for a penalty there for Antares. Lucky he didn't tack him, tackle him. Uh, here's Grealish. They're taking the mick out of us now, man. They can do what they want. Kevin Campbell still clinging on. This is literally, they're just attacking us. Curtis Henny on deck, bro. I'm just on the beer, man. No Henny. Clear the ball, man. We've been horrible. Player ratings, mate. Oh. Shane said, Curtis, uh, LFC fan here. Man, it's a madness to see how far Arsenal are now. So far behind. No characters in the team. Nothing. Nothing, mate. Look how many great games we've had with Liverpool over the years. If we played Liverpool now, we get slapped up, mate, all over the place. <laughs> Cheers to all the Gooners, man. We're all in this together, people. Oh, and just to add to it, Mares is coming on. £60 million wing on. Probably one of the best in the league. Cheers, Pep. Thanks, mate. I thought he was going to take it easy on us. Bring on the youngsters at least, man. Leave us alone. It's just bullying at this stage. Fans have finally gone mental. I'm telling you, they're jumping up and down, celebrating. They can't believe what's going on. Uh, Ayla Vangi said, uh, Manchester, as big of the club they might be, the stadium belongs to the city of Manchester. We as Arsenal do not deserve this merchandise FC. Tim Foyle, Arsenal, thank you for the super chat, bro, said, this is what happens when the bloody fans are only happy with only top four for years. Low expectations, diminishing results. We should have continued title aspirations. Now we have an Arteta. I hear your strong words. Gabriel Jesus comes off for Mares. I mean, it just gets worse, don't it? Jesus is doing that, not Eddie and Ket here. You know what I mean? Brazilian international. I've never seen such a dominant performance. It's too easy. It's too easy. They can do what they want. They're just toying with us. We're like the mannequins at the moment. New sub, only Mares. Yeah, only Mares, 60 million. You know, 60 million, one of the best wingers in the league. G Scouser says, not trying to be funny, Big C, you lot look like schoolboys. Uh, the whole team that is including the technical team. Bro, it's the year 11s against the year 7s. The year 7s that have just come out of school, just come out of primary school, going high school, it's them against the year 11s and they're just bullying us at this stage. You know what? Kevin Campbell's actually not happy today. He's not happy. Fair enough. I don't think even Kev will defend this. Um, James says, big up from Berlin. Big up, bro. Oh, ball whipped in. City goes all the way across out for a, uh, a corner. We just cannot defend a simple cross. Arsenal found their level on Wednesday. West Brom under 23s. You ain't telling no lies. City ball whipped in. Free head or headed wide. By I merit Laporte. Today was the 8-2 against United. Someone check the Rwanda president. He's gonna he might pull it off the pull the sponsors off the off the sleeves. Oh, Gam Shah said, uh, I'm a Man United fan, but this is just sad, Curtis. I'm, I'm sorry for you, man. I couldn't even imagine this happening to my club. We're actually getting the sympathy of the rivals. That's how bad it's got. Why are we still here just to suffer? Official Jazz said, Curtis, what do you think is the real problem? The coach tactics or the mentality? Probably a combination of the three because as much as the team selection was woeful today, giving a hundred percent on a football pitch at the top level of sport, I don't I don't imagine you would need a manager to tell you to do that. If a manager needs to tell you to give everything. There's something wrong with the mentality of the players as well. Um, I don't think we have enough winners or leaders in the dressing room, but 
at the same time, the manager doesn't inspire these players at all. You know, I'm sure Klopp adds a lot of motivation to his players. I'm sure Pep does as well. Fourth largest wage budget in the league. And yet we're bottom of the league. Lyndon said, uh, Arsenal fan from St. Lucia. I can't even stop laughing. See you wha- how Arsenal have fallen. If you don't laugh, you cry, man. It's painful. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Imagine what United would do to us with Ronaldo, Bruno, Pogba, Rashford, Sancho. It could be 10. <sighs> Mr. Pads, big up, bro. Curtis, I told you before the Brentford game, we could be sitting on no points after three and minus 10 goal difference. It may happen. Won't get his P45s up. I mean, I'm just thinking now. Yeah, we're on minus eight goal difference. Minus eight, bro. We haven't scored a goal in three Premier League games. Michael said, yeah, big up St. Lucia. 89% possession. That is crazy. Laughing is the only coping mechanism now, I'm telling you. Uh, Kev said, I, Curtis, bro, question. Are Arsenal in a relegation battle? Oh, Sterling was nearly in. It's a goal kick. Um, listen, I think we'll get out of the relegation battle, but while you're there, you're there, aren't you? You can't just say, oh, we're Arsenal, so we'll get out of it. You've actually got to get yourself out of it. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, we are. No lies. No lies, we are. Curtis, advert, you're feeling stressed, feeling depressed, not smiling anymore, friends are mocking you. Well, here's a breaking solution. Stop watching Arsenal. No money back guarantee. They're certainly not helping anyone's mood. That's for certain. Last five minutes, they've had 97% possession in the last five. Like, we're breaking records that should never be broken, you know? Curtis, put me in for Xhaka. I swear I'm better. Listen, most of you are probably better than him. Emery was better. Truth, truth told there. Xhaka is a leader, mate. That's his leadership. Yeah, he leads... He leads down the tunnel, gets sent off. That's his leadership. Does Arteta survive this? I think he does. I think he does, to be honest, with these owners. They've backed him so much in the transfer market, even though I believe we've wasted most of that money. I just think they'll say, it's Man City, red card, it was a bad day at the office. They'll, 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 they'll survive. We've had one shot, never mind the goal. Here comes City out wide, crossing opportunity, ball whipped in. Oh, and then he clears it. Luckily, we got away with that. Now we're going down with this coach. Imagine losing against Norwich. He'd probably go after that, but uh, even God does not want to help us. It's the manager, Curtis. I hope Kevin should have known by now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Tierney's on the floor. We knew it. It was only a matter of time, won it, before Tierney hit the floor and he's injured. Oh, no, I get, you know what, apologies, he's hurt. He's hurt, he's rolled his ankle. Ay, 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 it's good. This game, this game could not have gone any worse. That that looks like a painful injury on his ankle. Wayne said, does Arsenal still have a board of directors or is it just KSC? Ah, he's all right, to be fair, Tierney, fair play. Plays the ball over the top. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. Uh, no, we do have a board of directors, but <laughs> clueless, mate. Clowns. We are championship fodder, says Barry Collins. You're not wrong. Qatari in M07. We need that oil, man. Oil or nothing, as someone said earlier. Not oil or nothing. Oil or nothing. Um, Going to be a FIFA score on easy mode. It, it already is. Scarity, have a beer for me, see. Just about to do a drive back to the smoke from Norfolk. I'll join you when I get back safely. Safe journey, bro. Appreciate your support. LUFC for life said, my gooner mate just text me saying he's sacking off Arsenal to support Barnet. It makes sense. Oh, oh, tipped over the bar. Sterling free header at the back post. Leno tips it over. Luckily, that header was pretty much straight at him. Bottom of the league. Bottom of the league, he can't get away with this. He really can't. Sad to see such an iconic club fall. Um, why is he not letting me click on that? Um, I appreciate the comment. Corner City, Sterling, edge of the box, he'll shoot. It's Sterling! Oh, he puts it just wide, nearly went in the top corner. It's pretty simple. Bang average players and manager, 100%. It is. Send for the dream team, Eddie Howe and Roy Hodgson. 
Big C, big up, bro. See, these defenders wouldn't get in any starting spots for maybe 10 teams, maybe more. Maybe more than that. Turned it off after six minutes, said Zimmer. This is a disaster. Uh, see, the Guna. Oh, no, we've clicked on that one. Uh, why would Conte want to come to this mess? Yeah, it's getting so bad, I don't think we could get him. Possession, 80%, City, 20%, Arsenal. Trust the process, my own. Oil is oil, cheese is cheese. Felipe, big up with the super chat, bro. Much appreciated. If we don't get six points for Norwich and Burnley, we are serious candidates for relegation. Uh, listen, if we don't win those sort of games, we are in a relegation battle. And like I said, at the moment, we are bottom of the league. So you don't automatically get points for being a big club. You have to earn them. So the reality is we are in a battle at the moment until we win games of football. Yishak said, uh, Stan Kroenke has broken uh, this fan base. Yeah, he has. He's ruined the club, let's be honest. Uh, Big Up Jay said, uh, breaking news, they're doing talks with Big Sam. He's probably better than Arteta. He'll keep us up. Here comes City, Sterling. The thing is, uh, Sterling and Mares, I've got a point to prove because they're getting benched. So they want to, they're coming on hungry as well. Sterling gives it away. Odegaard clears it. This team selection was wild. Turned it off. I didn't even turn it on, says Free Max B. Oh, man. Hey, Big C, was my super chat deleted, bro? Not by me. Not by me. Um, I'm pretty sure the mods wouldn't delete it. Apologies if that happened. Um, just repeat it, as I say always, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, read it out. Obviously, just put it in as a normal comment. Shahira said, uh, Qatar is in, Arteta out. We need something. Something needs to happen. Kurt, would you still support Arsenal if they got relegated? I, I would still support them, but I wouldn't have... I would have very little interest. It might sound like a glory fan, but it would be difficult. Um, someone else saying a super chat. Penalty. Was it penalty spot? You're not getting my super chats, Kurt. It's apologies if I haven't. Um, I can't see them. I'm still not sure how you put slow mode on uh, on the chat. I need to figure that out because uh, I don't want people missing super chats. If I've missed any super chats, people, just uh, write it as a regular comment. I'll try my best to read it out. We've got over 2,800 of you in here. 20 minutes to go. I actually can't wait for this game to finish. It's painful. Odegaard gets dragged and... Um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles comes on. All those who attended are part of the problem. Big C was right not to go. Obviously, like I said, some people, they 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 need this in their life. Football, but not this kind of display. Money is good for us from Qatar, but we want players that want to be winners and will sweat blood for the club. Yeah, I hear you. Come on, City banging a couple more. I think if they scored a couple more, Arteta would get sacked. 4-0 with a red card. I think he can talk his way out of it. If you start going 6-7s, I don't think there's any way out of it. People saying, check Alexis' uh, Instagram story. What's he saying, Andre? Let me know um, what, what he's saying. No one expected Arsenal to win, but this is pure domination. I feel bad, bro. This is diabolical. Arsenal got a red card. Still no excuse. We were 3-0 down already. It was already happening. D. Herx, big up bro, said, how do you even make signings in this state? You ain't getting no one of any real quality when you're bottom of the league, you know? Bro, I don't think your squad is this bad. Conte would get you top six with his team. I think he would. I think he would. He would have us organised. And some of these guys, he would have got rid of them anyway. You, you don't give Xhaka four-year deals, then expect your team to be, you know, quality. You just don't. Do you think Arteta will be sacked? I don't think he will. Not after this game. I think they'll give him longer, which is just ridiculous. Here comes City. Sterling. See, Sterling's loving it. He's running at Cedric. Cedric's on a yellow card. He don't want to put a tackle in. Alexis Sanchez posted on the story that he is watching the same. He's watching the game. He's probably thinking, what is this? No wonder he left. Demir said, Curtis, make it make sense. I'm out of words uh, for how peed and disappointed I am. We look so terrible. I have no answer, bro. I have, I wish I did. We just need this game to finish. Just uh, It's crazy. I'm saying hang on to 4-0. You know, anything more than this, it's already embarrassing, let's be honest. No goal. I will be lucky to have another shot. 
Um, but big up for the support, bro. Big up to Sai Juma with the supers chat. Much appreciated. Do you think Arteta will be sacked? Uh, big up keeping me going. Big up Mateo for supporting. I just think they'll keep him. Yo, Kurt, where can I buy a Shaw Sports mug so I can drink out of it? I'm going to get some merch going soon. Although I don't know, listen, I don't know if my uh, logo should be this one with my face on and that. I'll probably get a new logo designed, but I'll get merch coming soon. This is all being documented, yeah? Yeah, Amazon must be sitting there going, oh my God, we've hit the jackpot. This is going to get millions and millions and millions of views. We've got Ronaldo going Man United and we're getting slapped up on Amazon. Erwin, no, I'm not even confident of Norwich. I think we'll beat them just simply because of how bad Norwich are. Got Omar turning it off. It's certainly championship form, um, Darren, that's for certain. I just hope they score more just to get this imposter sacked. I, I just still don't know whether they'll do it. It's only a preseason, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, that's what everyone. It's only preseason. We'll be all right. They should refund the traveling fans, you know? Um, free kick, no corner to Man City. Uh, I feel sad for Arsenal, says Connor. No, oh, mate, they need to stop feeling sorry for themselves and, and fix up logo of your initials. Yeah, that'll probably be the one. That'll probably be the one. Uh, go to your live dashboard in the chat module, click settings, uh, select enable slow mode. Yeah, let's have a look. Chat settings. Um, what are we saying? Are there still people defending Jacker now? We can't check Qatari's tweets. What's he saying? What is he actually saying, people? Um, Qatari. He needs to buy the club, man. That's all we've got. Oh, Chance Laporte. There surely is deeper problems than Arteta. Come on, guys. Come on, he needs to buy us. He needs to buy us. He needs to save us. Edison's gone home. He could have. They could just leave the leave the net empty. We wouldn't even score. How do I make a donation? I don't know. Maybe some parts of the world you can't do it. You know, I'm not sure. CSTV, yeah, that'll be something. Something like that will do. Post a poll whether I'll take her in or out. Listen, mate, there's, there's no need for that debate. He has to go. He absolutely has to go. It's as simple as that. Turned off after 10 minutes. So embarrassing. How did we get here? I knew this would happen when you have a leader who doesn't care. Big up Cyrus with a super chat. I've got no hate for Arteta. He should have never been appointed. This is why experience matters. Yeah, he wasn't ready to take the job. He, he was always going to back himself and go for the job. I don't um, I don't really have... Oh, Sterling's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, hits it straight at Lenham. Wow. Got away with that big time. Big time we got away with that. People saying we're back after beating West Brom's under eights. <laughs> we were shameless on Wednesday, for real. I was part of it because I knew we have to enjoy it while we can because this ain't uh, this ain't good. Oh, Mares is offside. 13 minutes to go. Just get this game over with. You know what I mean? Yeah, I might do a beer mug as well, you know. Listen, I've got ideas, people. I just need a good logo. Um, Dimitri said, I was saying in the Super Chat that the players probably dislike Arteta. His treatment of Saliba, his tactics, his infantile and arrogant behaviour, 100%. Tierney's back on the floor now. Is that a different injury or is it the same one from earlier playing up? I shouldn't say this, but I wanted to concede more so Arteta gets sacked. I'm just not sure if it will even happen. It would probably... I reckon if it was like seven or eight, possibly you might get a reaction out of them. Um, 
Will Laurie and Robbie still defend Arteta after today? I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible to defend him. Uh, it looks like Tierney's is off. He's done. Made out of glass, that guy. Injured every game. Man said Lacazette is a mini Shug Knight. <laughs> oh, dear. Big C, have you got a business email? We'll design you a logo, my G, for free. Um, just hit me up on Twitter, bro. Curtis Shaw 9 inbox. The inbox are open. Big C, check the Twitter DM. Sent a Conte video. Big up was, I'll check it um, as soon as I finish, bro. Get the dog on for Tierney before it's too late. Tierney, every game I see this guy on the floor injured. Yeah, bro, I'm doing a watch along later on. I need to put this out of my head, man. Um, I'll be doing a watch along. 10 past five tonight, we go live for Liverpool against Chelsea. Big game, 5.30 kickoff. And um, yeah, they're showing you the Arsenal fans there. But yeah, anyone wants to watch some uh, proper football and get this Arsenal rubbish out of our head, 10 past five tonight. Um, Chelsea uh, travel to Liverpool. A lot of Arsenal fans leaving now. I'm sure they've seen enough. Who can blame them after that nonsense? Um, you know, travelling all the way there. Like I said, people were leaving at six o'clock in the morning to watch that. And that's the best they can muster up and offer. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, these players, mate, they should be paying for the travel of the fans. Um, after that, but they won't. Nine men, three subs used. Robbie will still be in this. <laughs> Second half, 91% possession. Laconga hasn't even come on. Ramsdale's probably thinking, oh man, I'm getting relegated again. The fans are leaving. Burn the shirt. Oh, mate. Trust me, I feel like it. 91% possession in a Premier League game. Big up, Tipper Ira. Hope you're well, my bro. Hope you're good. Said Curtis, uh, just sending support to the channel. Bless. I want it over now. Arteta has no clue. I want it to be seven so he can get the sack. How bad is it that as a fan base, people are wanting Arsenal to lose by more just so we can get the manager out? And I, and I hear where it's coming from. Like, it's so frustrating. Knowing these owners, we'd lose 7 0, they'd still keep him. Ronnie says, Tell me how, how I can be a member of your channel. The link is in the description blo uh, below. Um, just go in the description. There's a link. You just click it and then you can join if you want people, anyone who's interested in becoming a member. Omar said, Fans are going home. Listen, I don't blame them. They should have left a long time ago. You know what I mean? Big reggae artist, Tipper. Man, yo, if you know about your reggae, Tipper's a real artist, you know. Big up, Tipper. You know what I mean? Robbie as well was a big artist back in the day. Crucial Robbie, man. Mares, oh my days. He's taking the mick out of Tierney. Tierney actually does well there. Um, what are you saying? Uh, it doesn't even hurt anymore, says Free Max. Yeah, we're used to it, unfortunately. We're used to defeat and embarrassment. Odegaard must be crying inside for joining this shambles. Cam, big up with the super chat. The fans who went there are part of the problem. I mean, I don't want to be critical of fans supporting the team, but I think we've got to do something. Short corner taken. Sterling and Mares, they're hungry, man. Here's Mares, edge of the box on his left foot. Whips it in back post. Oh, we're lucky. We are lucky there. That could have been a, an unmarked shot for uh, Rodri at the back post. Uh, Tim Foyle, Arsenal, appreciate the support, bro, said Curtis. We are witnessing Arsenal's lowest ever pose possession, ever. Another record broken by Contetta. Uh, what is it? 91% possession for Manchester City. I mean, you just, you can't see that uh, in the second half. And then people saying, what is it? 82% um, overall. That's like playing a League Two team, you know, you would expect that. City not even in third gear, far from it. Light work, absolute light work. Uh, is the game over yet? Well, we got eight minutes to go. I can't wait for it to finish. Here's Smith Rowe. Just dive, try and get a penalty. Oh, oh, I nearly got the ball to Lacazette. We, I don't, have we even had a shot in the second half? Have we even had a shot, people, in the second half of this game? I don't think we have. Mate. Arsenal therapy tomorrow. We're going to need rehab. We're going to have to we're going to have to do it for 4 days. 
Pep, get your cones ready, Mikel. He could be back at Man City on Monday, putting cones up. Oh, man, no added time. Please just end it. Did you get to look at the logo I sent you, Curtis? I will have a look. I will look. I know some of you were sending me logos on Twitter. I really appreciate it. Um, I will double check uh, and look through. I think I replied, um, but I will double check. I turned off the TV, Kurt said, Cunny, yeah, I don't blame you. You know, I don't blame you. If I wasn't streaming, I'd have probably turned it off. Penalty Spot said, Board won't sack him as they don't understand football, so they can't see the magnitude of his failings. I think that's spot on. Mares whips it in. It's, it's a goal. It's five. It doesn't even hurt. It doesn't even hurt people. Ferran Torres makes it 5 0. It's over. We're done. 5 0 to Manchester City. Mares whips it in. Ferran Torres unmarked, heads it in, hits the post and goes in. It is 5 0. We're bottom of the Premier League. What a ball. Look, holding, you're marking him. He's dropped the shoulder. You've lost him. You don't know where he is. He's absolutely dreadful, that guy, Rob Holding. Honestly, swinging his arms about for what? Can't you mark one player? Ferran Torres ain't exactly tall. What a ball by Mares. Leno in no man's land. It's done. Delete club settings. Cedric hasn't completed a single pass in the whole game, people are saying. Uh, he's playing quite well, to be fair. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. I've got nothing to say. We need an um, Arsenal emergency. Oh, mate, uh, I might even stream tonight after the um, after the Liverpool game. Sterling could be in. It's turned him. Sterling. Grealish. Oh, they messed it up. Seriously, man. This is this ain't even this ain't even funny. This is this is like I don't know what this is. This is brutal. This is brutal. Some of their players haven't even played that well. I just work here. Thank you very much for the super chat, bro. Much appreciated. I've been a fan for 22 years and watching from Canada when we had to wait and hope they'd show Arsenal on TV. I'm so close to becoming a PSG fan and until this jackass leaves our club, everyone out. This is not Arsenal. This is genuinely not Arsenal Football Club. They're in. They're imposters. They're imposters. What's that game? My son plays a game actually where there's imposters and things. I don't know what it's called. Some of you will know, but these men are imposters. Bottom of the prem. This is this is crazy. What has happened to this football club? Here's Smith Rowe. He's trying his best. Bless him. In the penalty, just go down. Just give us a penalty ref. He don't give us it. He ain't giving us anything. We we probably don't deserve anything. Zero points, minus nine goal difference. Wow. Minus nine goal difference. Crazy. One of the worst times ever in the history of Arsenal. This is the worst Arsenal I've ever seen in my life. Look at Pep. Pep's cracking jokes with his assistant. Look at the ball in from Mark. Look at Rob holding. Embarrassing beyond belief.
Oh, my days. I, I'm struggling. I don't know what to say, people. We're in a relegation battle, mate. We are. Uh, forget it. It don't matter if we've got great players. or well, No, we ain't got great players, but it don't matter if we've got good players. You've got to win games. You've got to get points. What about the Matt Law story? Curtis, reported there, told Arteta he had five games. Oh, I shouldn't be getting five games. Curtis, you were tweeting, would you take Sterling? Yeah, I think I should delete that tweet, mate. He's probably bigger than our whole club right now. Here's Mares into the box. Oh, dear me. It's shambolic. Uh, Pat does fitness. Big up, bro. Appreciate the super chat. Said, I've been supporting this club for 27 years. I'm 32 now. I don't know what the club is anymore. I just can't deal with this anymore. I'm in tears. Look, you... Like... I, in all seriousness, this will seriously upset a lot of people, you know. This football club means a lot to a lot of people. Like, they're getting embarrassed. Look at Morris. He's taking the mick. Crunch him. Do something. They're all the players just standing there looking at each other. You've got a man like Pats in tears, bro. Man like Pats in tears because of this Arsenal team. At least Lacazette's just crunch Grealish. Do something. Go down fighting. Just put a team out of fighters at least. This man embarrassing themselves. I'm disgusted with this team. Gundogan gets a man of the match. Captain, he's ball whipped in. Oh, my God. The cross nearly went in. Mate, this game, just finish it, please. We I don't want no time added on. I don't want no time. A man are crying. There's man in the comments saying they're in tears because of Arsenal. What is this team doing? They don't even deserve us right now. Is five going to be enough to get him sacked? Rock bottom. The rock settings. Three minutes added on. Just get this game over with. Get this game over with. This is... This is unbelievable. They have got to sack this guy. City are on us again. They're on us again here. This could get worse. Sterling out to Mares. Mares cuts inside. Deflection saved by Leno. Wow. Wow, people. I don't know what to say. I'm not often I'm speechless. Trust me. I can talk because you've realized this is absolutely unbelievable what we're seeing. Good block there by Tierney, to be fair. Curtis Pat isn't alone. I'm in tears myself. The last time I had tears over a game was watching France lose in 2006 World Cup final. Bro, I, 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 feel, I feel your pain. We're all in this together, Gunas. Seriously, we're all in this together. This is... Look at this. 24 shots on goal. We've had one. We've had one shot on goal. I've never seen stats like this in a Premier League game. 24 shot. He's in. He's in. He's in again. What a save. I feel sorry for Leno should just punch one of his defenders in the face. Cancelo, baller, Gundogan. What a pass. Just, just opened up our holding. Look at holding. Look at no one's, no one's even tracking him. Arsenal fans are, are in tears. Look at this. Man are putting comments in saying they're in tears. This football club is poison from top to bottom. Leno should just right hook Rob Holding. Bang! Just spark him. Say, listen, what are you doing to me here? We've still got four defenders in defence. Why can't we track runners? Big up Alfred, man. You're always supporting, man. I love the passion of Arsenal fans, man. Things can only get better, I suppose. But, I mean, I don't know where we go from here. we got to sit on this for two weeks during the international break. Big up Whistler, he said, keep in mind City had a slow start last season and ended up winning the league. Arsenal could still do the same, bro. We ain't winning no league. We ain't winning nothing. We won't win anything this season. But I appreciate your support. Sean, you're right. From I saw the lineup, you know what time it is. Kalasinac, come on. You can't turn up to the champions of England with Kalasinac in a back three. Oh, heart, I stopped being emotional. Uh, sorry, see, listen, I don't blame you. Some people are in tears. Some people have switched off their emotion. Full-time whistle. Just, just to end that game. Pep gives him a hug. Like, what? Mikel's got a walk. I don't want to hear no excuses. 
I don't want no excuses. I don't want to hear about red cards, right? I don't want to hear about none of that. This is Arsenal Football Club. This ain't an experiment for you to figure out whether you're a good manager or not. We know the answer. It's not happening. This man patted Granite Xhaka on the back after getting sent off. Why? Why are you patting him on the back? He's let you down. You know what his excuse is going to be. Our 2 0, we were still in the game and Xhaka didn't make much contact. He shouldn't have been sent off. You can get sent off for intent. Check the rules, people. The intent will tell you you can still be sent off. Arteta's going over to applaud the fans. Look at the fans applauding. Look at the fans applauding. I mean, I can't hear it. I've got it turned down. They should be booing them players. Every one of them players should walk over, give them this shirt, and they should cover their travel costs. An absolute disgrace. It's getting beyond a joke. It really is. It's getting beyond a joke. Uh, people saying I'm missing Super Chats. Apologies. Uh, where are we? I just work here. It says Pat's in tears and he's Jack. I nearly cried last week and this week. They don't even deserve it. They don't even deserve it. I, it gets to the point with Arsenal, it doesn't even hurt me as much now. I, I, I don't, and that's and that's so bad. The players are standing there applauding the fans. Go and give them man your shirts, and go and speak to them. Go over there. Go over there and give them your shirts. Standing there applauding them. These men are an absolute disgrace. Look at Tierney. Tierney's trying to rally the troops, but yo, man are a disgrace. Every single one of them players today should be ashamed of themselves. None of them deserve to wear that shirt after what I saw today. A lot of the players who I actually feel would fight for the badge weren't playing. Look, not one of them walked over to him. I would have walked over to him, give him the shirt, give him the boots, apologise to him, say, listen, I'm sorry. I apologise. You're a disgrace, a lot of you. That is not Arsenal Football Club. That is not the reason that we support the football club. These man here, no pride, no passion, just rolled over and got beat 5-0. Absolute bottle jobs, the lot of them. From the owner, the owner doesn't want to win. The owner don't care about winning. He doesn't care who they're buying. He's employing mugs to go and buy players. The manager is completely out of his depth. He's got no tactical awareness. Picking players that should have been sold. Signing man on four-year contract, Cedric, on a four-year contract from Southampton when they were going to release him. The club are an absolute disgrace from top to bottom. It's as simple as that. Absolute disgrace from top to bottom. Absolute disgrace. No pride, no passion, no heart. Nothing. Arteta out, mate. Get this fraud out of this club. Give us a chance to rebuild. I've been screaming out Conte and then, man, you know what? We ain't getting no Conte. You might have a chance of getting Conte at the start of a season with money to spend, with a transfer window. You ain't getting... No We're bottom of the league, man. We're below Norwich. Minus nine after three games. Listen, I love Wrighty. Wright is one of the reasons that I support Arsenal. He was publicly backing this guy. Mad as well. But now the roses have come. You know, the ro it's not all rosy in the garden, man. What is it? The chickens have come home to roost. That's what they say, isn't it? Reality is smacking us in the face right now. And it's painful. For me, it's okay to start from square one. Let's start again. Let's start again. The, the next managerial appointment has got to be correct. You can't afford to bring in another half like, you know. It ain't going to work. Mate, I've just said it. The players are a disgrace as well. I, I, You don't need a manager to tell you to work hard. You don't need that. The tactics were shocking. 
The team selection was an absolute disgrace. Side Kalasinac was leaving a few days ago. Nice start against Manchester City, the champions of England. What does he expect to happen? What was his plan? He played Odegaard centre mid next to Xhaka. He gave Xhaka a four-year contract. He got sent off. He gave him a pat on the back. He should have slapped him round the face. He said, what the hell are you doing? You've seen the managers looking. You've seen that the referee is, is happy to book people. Why are you diving into a tackle two-footed? Absolute disgrace. The lot of them. The lot of them, mate. There's nothing there. Nothing. No backbone. No heart. It doesn't even hurt them. It doesn't hurt them enough. It doesn't hurt them enough. Nelson said the fans should have turned their backs on the team, not applaud mediocrity settings. These players, this manager, this technical director, this owner, they are an absolute disgrace, the lot of them. The lot of them, they're a disgrace. No one is doing their job properly at the moment. No one. No one's doing their job properly. Yeah, the Cronkays spent money this summer, but not enough. They needed to spend more. And guess what? You should have kept your eye on where that money was being spent. He shouldn't have signed off some of them deals. We needed real quality to come in this summer. <coughs> we signed about five players. Alfred said, uh, I have the F in Arsenal um, crest tattooed on my chest. I think it's time to cover up. RVP tricked me into believing this damn club. Man, I've got Arsenal. Ta Alfred's got Arsenal tattooed on his chest. And look at what these men are doing. Look at the lack of enthusiasm and fight and determination in this team. Bottle jobs. Absolute bottle jobs. A lot of them. They, they're not fit to wear the shirt. That performance was an absolute disgrace. A disgrace from top to bottom. Everything within this club is wrong. Everything. The owner don't want to win. The owner don't want to win. He spends money, but he don't care who we spend it on. Just handing out deals to anyone. The technical director, Edu, is out of his depth. He's a glorified travel agent for the Brazilian national team. He doesn't know how to negotiate quality deals with the right players. He's a disgrace as well. I backed him because he was a former invincible. He's a mess. Mikel Arteta has been on work experience for two years, nearly two years. He's out of his depth. He don't know what he's doing. His tactics are wild. I, listen, I, I don't know. I don't know where we go from here. We're bottom of the league after three games. We haven't scored. Minus nine. No goal scored. Manchester City must have broke a record today. I have never seen a game in the Premier League where a team has 81% possession. 81%. Arsenal did not have a shot on target in the whole game. Not one. Now, people who say Xhaka got sent off, he got sent off after 35 minutes. We had enough time to, to create a chance. Nothing. They've got nothing. I am King. Big up, bro. Anyone who takes a good look at this team and is not embarrassed, is not an Arsenal fan, we have to. We can't relate to this team anymore. We just can't. We can't protect them. It's very difficult. Conte now says, Paul, I don't think Conte would join us while we're bottom of the league. Transfer window closes in three days. Um, I just don't think he would have anything to do with it. His reputation's too big. Um... And who can blame him? Why would he want to come and, and manage this team? It would. It's going to take another hundred million plus to deal with this. We're not going to spend it. Laurie will say that you are being unfair, Curtis. It wasn't six nil. Oh man, I'm ashamed of my club. Over three thousand eight hundred of you in the chat. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash a like on the video. And don't forget one football link in the description. They're sponsoring the video, helping the channel. Big up to them for all their help and support. I mean, I'm going to need all the support we can get. Don't forget link in the description below as well. Support at the Football Content Awards people. All the details are there if you wouldn't mind voting. Where do we go from here, people? Where do we go from here? Um, 
That's got to be the lowest possession we've ever had in a Premier League game. 18% possession, lowest ever for Arsenal. This guy's breaking records I didn't think could be broken. It's only 5-0, I'll behave, mate. Yeah, Laurie, and I think Laurie's coming on, to be fair. I don't think, um, I don't know if Fran's about. Um, 90 minutes, no shot on target. Arsenal rehab settings. Be thankful men, nah, 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 Niraj, come on. Appreciate the super chat, but we can't have comments like that. Not one shot on target in the entire 90 minutes. Perfect time for a Saudi Arabian take. We need to be taken over quick. He needs to sell this football club. This club's going down the toilet. And the thing is, Kronke will start losing money. And that's all he cares about. One shot on goal and it wasn't even on target. Get this novice out of my club. Kindly join us uh, for not the result we wanted. Second episode. You know what Arteta's excuses are going to be. He'll just blame the red card. Kevin Diaz, apologies again. Super chat's flying in. 3,700 of you in here, people. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Uh, Kevin said, Curtis, these players will be laughing tomorrow in training, acting like they didn't get slapped and are dead in the last league. Dead last, mate. Uh, John Page said, applauding you, not these imposters. Big up to John for supporting. Um, yeah, these, my international break as well. We got to hold that defeat for two weeks now. It was 90% possession at one point, 25 attempts to one. Laurie is here. Let me bring him in. No big intros today, I'm afraid, Laurie, mate. Um, yo, 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 can you hear us all right, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm having a bit of a problem with the Wi-Fi here, as if things could get any worse. So, um, Crazy, me. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, it's a bit quiet, but I can hear you enough. I, I don't know if everyone... Else... Yeah, yeah, I think they can hear you. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Well, uh, this is indeed a dark day, man. This is a dark day. I mean, I don't know if you saw the end there with the players going over. Yeah. And um, fronting up to the fans. If only they could have showed that much frontery during the game. I That's mean, uh, what can you say, man? It's a terrible start. I mean, I don't know where they go from here. I mean, does the Granite Jacker sending off give Arteta a, a possible way out? Give he'll try, he'll try and use that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll try and use that. Um, but it's a dark day, bro. It really is. I'm struggling to find words to describe a performance like that. Uh, let me just read this super chat. I found big up with a super chat, bro. Said the Arsenal fans that keep saying Xhaka is good deserve every single bit of this. How long will it take for them to learn that this guy is not good enough? How many more errors leading to losses? I mean, Lawrence, Listen, four... you know what? I just want to say on that as well that, you know, me and you have had many conversations about Granite Xhaka. It's well documented that you, um, you don't rate him. And I not get that. But I've always tried to you know, err on the side of positivity and giving the benefit of the doubt. Um, but at the end of the day, he was reckless. But, I, I, you know, listen, man, we were 2-0 down when the sending off happened. For me, that's not a sending off, though. Um, not that it makes any real difference because we probably were going to get hammered anyway. Um, but I didn't think that was a sending off. I thought that was extremely harsh, to be honest. And the thing is, uh, the thing is, Laurie, in the rules now, I think it says um, even if you don't make contact, you can get a red card for intent. And his studs were up. His studs were up. And where I am very critical of him is just that he's um, one of the most experienced players, not just on the Arsenal side, but on the entire pitch. Mm. And he should know the rules. You're quite right. There has been a rule change. There is a, a care of duty that the players have to apply to other players, because although he didn't really make contact with a player, he could have done, he could have broken his leg. Um, so I guess the referee was um, obviously looking at that when he made the decision. But I thought, I didn't think it was the same enough, but regardless of that. So, so you, so, but with that rule in place though, Laurie, surely it is a sending off because 
you can't he can't say well he didn't break his leg he didn't make contact so I won't send him off like it, it, to me it is a red card he's out of control the studs are up I think it is, is a red card. I, I, I didn't think he was out of control though Curtis I thought the studs may have been up slightly I thought he won the ball uh, I, I would deem that as a as a guy going in to win the ball but it's a dangerous um, tackle, man. Very. If your studs are up, it's dangerous, isn't it? That can break your leg. But listen, I don't think we should. Uh, it didn't make any. Him. I don't think it, it made any, make difference. any difference. Yeah. In fact, like I said, in many ways, it was that little slither of hope that Arteta was probably hoping for on the day, because at least now, if if he goes down that route, which Hopefully he doesn't. He's going to say, well, you know, once the sending off happened, you know, it was always going to be a difficult day. But it was already shaping up that way anyway. I mean, somebody explained to me how Erden Gunnar, I mean, I've never actually met Erden Gunnar. I'll have to check the stats. But he would appear to be known more than, what, 5859? Five, five, Who, Gundogan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and he's winning headers and against he's winning Chambers. headers at the far post against guys that are at least six foot two, three. Tell me how that happens. I mean, we could criticise Arteta, you know. And like you, I was absolutely baffled to see Kalasinac start today. Um, I, re I think it was you that broke the news to me. I was staggered. Mm. Right? But for all Arteta's ineptitude or lack of tactics, whatever you want to call it. That that kind of schoolboy defending for those first two goals especially, what what, what do you attribute that to? I mean, the thing is, it's, it's terrible defending, but people yeah. will... The reason I still point at Arteta is because people will say, well, hang on a minute, you gave... Because Holding got done at the end for Torres as well, same thing. Yeah. He gave Holding a four-year deal. He gave Jacker <laughs> yeah, exactly. a four-year deal. You know, he's kept... I, I mean, if I'm William Saliba today watching that, what are you thinking? What, I can't get in that back no, four? No, that back no, three. And, and, and that's what lays it bare, isn't it? That's what lays it bare. When you see performances like that, you saw Callum Chambers today running around like a headless chicken doing some of the stuff that he's doing. You think to yourself, are you telling me that Saliba... Who, let's be honest, man. I remember doing my research on Saliba for the Talk is Cheap show when we signed him. And I remember ringing you up and I'm saying, look, there's a man out here calling this guy the new Varane. Has mm. anybody ever called Rob Holding anything like that? Or Callum Chambers or any one of our defenders, anything like that? Terrible. So for him to not even get a look in and we're defending this badly, you have to look to the manager. Just for me, to... like I just wanted to ask you now, you I mean, you know me, you know my opinion on this manager. I, I, think, I think he should have gone in November. They stuck by him. I think he should have gone after Villarreal. They stuck by him. For me, he's got to go now. I, I don't think we can say, you know, it's only three games. I think it's a continuation from last season into pre-season. Bottom of the league, we haven't scored in three games. Do you think he's got to go now? Well, yeah, I do. I, and I have to say yeah. as well, Curtis, I mean, whether he will go or not, that is another matter entirely. Yeah. But I... I have to say, I'm not going to call any names because um, I don't want to betray people's confidence. And I'm pretty sure that this type of what I'm about to tell you now is probably being replicated up and down the country. But there were one or two people that I was speaking to today. And no, it's not Robbie because these guys are at the game. They were saying to me that, you know what, now that it looks like we're going to lose, if we're going to lose this game, you know what, I'd rather take a hammer in if it means that Arteta goes before the next game. A lot of people were saying that, Laurie. Yeah. People were saying, I hope this is 7 or 8 yeah. nil just so he gets sacked. And that is a damning indictment on this yeah. team. That, 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 that there pretty much tells you everything you need to know about Arsenal at the moment. Not yeah. only do the fans say, you know I mean, we're going to lose and, you know, they're saying, look, you know, if we're going to lose, let's take a hammering because the one plus point of the hammering will be is that it will force the owners to call time on Arteta's tenure tonight. And we're at least over the international break, we'll get another manager in for Norwich or, or things will change. I mean, and, just, and just... it's kind of difficult to sort of argue with people when, when they hit you with that. You know what I mean? Obviously, no. you don't want your team to lose. 
But I think that's in, that's an indicator of how rock bottom we've become right now. We've and, become, like, yeah. and this is why I say it's a dark day for the club. Mm. Whenever you start uh, thinking in those terms, man, that is a dark day, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, big up Moen with the super chat. I appreciate that, bro. He said, I just hope tomorrow morning I get up and see the news of Arteta sacked. Emery was far better than this clown. And how many games did we give him compared to Arteta? I mean, I I'm at the point now, I know I've been screaming out the likes of Conte and stuff like that, but when you're bottom of the league, you've got no chance of getting a manager like that. So we it would be difficult to get a top manager in, but we've still got to move this guy out, I think. Yeah, we have to. I mean, listen, um, you know, we were, well, I was. Not so much you, because you I mean you're <laughs> you, you you know your way around the game. You you you're probably a bit more um you're a bit more realistic than I was. But I was one of those guys that was optimistic after the after we thrashed West Brom. And you 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 sort of took me to one side metaphorically and was saying, Listen, man, end of the day, yeah, we, we scored six. We beat West Brom six 0 but that was their second string side. Mm. That was a championship team, nonetheless, that had made 11 changes. And of those 11 changes, seven were debutants. Yeah. So you had people like me, and I'm going to hold my hand up. I was one of them saying, listen, man, 6-0, Abba Hattrick, the smile's back on his face. I see a certain sense of goodwill factor coming on. This would be good going into this game. And it probably was, if we're being honest. Let's be honest. There probably was. But then within 10 minutes, you find yourself 2-0 down. Absolutely woeful defending. I mean, I think after the second oh. goal, the camera panned to <laughs> Aubameyang. And he just had this look on his face as if to say, what am I me, doing? What am I doing? It? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, 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 seriously, he had that look on his face to say, what, where are we? What, what's going on? I mean... Do you know what? They, I'm I'm just looking, at reading things here. They're saying this is a record, the lowest ever possession in a game for Arsenal. They had 19% possession. Man City had 81%. That's the lowest in Arsenal history in the Premier wow. League. Bro, there, bro, let me tell you this, yeah? There was a point in that game for uh, a number of minutes where Man yeah. City's possession was 97%. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't I know what you, you say. I kid you not. 97% possession. I don't I mean, know what you uh, say. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's staggering, man. Seriously. Um, it really is. I mean, I know, listen, I know City are a very good team. They can do that to teams. You know what I mean? We saw them do that to Norwich a few weeks ago as well. But even so, man, this, this is a dark day. This it's is up dark. there. This is up there with the 8-2s and... Yeah, remember that it is. It's up there with those defeats, man. And um... Um, the the managers are doing interviews now, right? And I've obviously got it turned down, Arteta. If anyone's listening to him and you hear what he says, just put it in the comments. Apparently, Arteta is being bigged up by Pep. I actually get to a point with that where I think, are these managers bigging him up because they want him to stay there because they know we're not going to do anything? Because I've heard Klopp big him up, Pep. They oh, he's always a great young coach, and I'm like, we're bottom yeah, of the coach. league, bro. Exactly. Can't big you him up now. Nail on the head, Curtis. You just hit the nail on the head. He's a coach. He's not a manager. Yeah, it's a very different dynamic, man. Very different dynamic. Yeah, yeah. You can be yeah. a great coach. You can have all the badges. You can know yeah. football inside out. But the difference is in the application and how you apply that knowledge, how you man manage. I mean, we've already seen. I think one of the biggest failings Arteta has, as well as his lack of tactical now at this level, is his inability to manage players. I, I think it's pretty clear by now that he, his man management skills are bereft, man. And um, yeah. it all adds up, doesn't it? It does, like man. Like I said, picking Kolasinac to play today. Oh, crazy. Um, where, Christian with a super from? chat. Um, he didn't even says... play well against West Brom. Nah, let me just read this super chat. Um, Christian said, Curtis, not now sure if you touched on, not sure if you touched on this already, but Man City were playing poorly for their standards. Spurs beat these lot without Kane. The crazy thing is, Laurie, you know, well, until they scored the first goal, we had a couple of crosses, got down the sides. Yes. I thought 
it looks like we can cause them problems here today. And then their goal just came out of nothing. It's just across yeah. these lot are all you just see defenders bumping into each other and they're scoring. It's just it's schoolboy defending, it's isn't it? Listen, we we've got a team everybody knows. Well, a lot of people know we've got an AFTV team that you play for, Curtis. Tell the truth, but we conceded a couple of goals like that inside heads the are rolling minutes. There would have been major kicking offs, wouldn't there, mm, amongst the teams? Yeah. Let alone at that level where they're playing at. That's the supposedly the top level, and you're making elementary, rudimentary mistakes like that within 10 or so minutes of the game starting, a game that you've been preparing for pretty much all week. Yeah? All that yeah. work, supposed work you've done on the training ground. And you allow Gundogan to basically just ghost in at the back post and score like that. Did you see the, the smiles on the City players when they were celebrating that goal? It's like they couldn't believe it. They couldn't. Look at this. Meza Ozil, trust the process. That's some oh hardcore trolling. That's <laughs> some hardcore... Terrible. Man said, what? You wanted to kick me out of that club, yeah? All right. That's some hardcore trolling, bro. Wow. Wow. Do no, no, no. you know what? You know, like, Laurie, I wanted to ask you, obviously, you've, you've watched Arsenal longer than me. Um, for me, this is the worst Arsenal I've ever seen. Have, have you ever seen Arsenal as bad as this? Unless we're referencing the 8-2 Man United and stuff like that. But um, no, consistently, no. Because we're seeing this type of performance now far too regularly. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I would have to go along with you with that, bro. It's crazy. I mean, it? people were was, was screaming and hollering for Emery to go. We were twice the side under Emery that we are yeah. now. Let's, let's keep it real about that. You know what I mean? It's true, we were, and he, and we he were. Got, he got dismissed. He got summarily dismissed as well. Yeah? There was no apology. You know what I mean? He was gone. Uh, so for this guy to keep... I mean, the club, in a way, are, all, are also in a very difficult position right now because you just allowed this guy to spend $129 million. Mm. And we're at match three into the season. So if you call time on his tenureship now... Who do they bring in? They've got. They would have to find someone. I mean, and if I you don't... go for let's let's say look, hypothetically speaking, they go for what would be you and a lot of other fans, probably myself included as well. Number one choice right now, Conte. Do you think Conte is going to rock up at Arsenal with no budget? Not not when we're bought. This is what I'm no. saying at the start of the season. When you when everything's getting started, he might have took it. Now we're bottom of the league. He's gonna go. Why would I put my reputation on exactly. the line for that? He's not gonna bottom of the league with the money pretty much spent. So that means that the the account is basically depleted. There's no money there. He's yeah. gonna say, "What do you expect me to do? I'm putting my reputation on the line that I've carefully built up all these years. You want me to rescue you from, let's face it, what could be possibly a relegation battle, and I've got no money to spend." Mm. So I potentially face taking Arsenal down on my resume. Pep, Pep Guardiola said, I'm just, I'm just reading some of the quote. He, he's trolling, mate. He said, he was asked about Arteta and his struggles at Arsenal. Arteta, uh, Guardiola said, he's beyond a good manager. We were sad when he left. Sometimes people expect results immediately. He said the squad he had today was missing important players. I mean, he's just trolling at this point. No, but, isn't he? but, but Curtis, can you blame on that? It's his brethren. <laughs> Listen, yeah, Curtis, he's going to look after his Curtis, brethren, isn't he? We know that. If you were in danger of losing your job, right, or whatever, and somebody rang me up and they said, What did you think of Curtis? I'll say, Listen, man, Curtis is a good guy. I would find every excuse I possibly could to ride with you. Yeah. That's what friends do. That is what Pepe's doing right now. So I don't even really. You know, no, we expect that, don't we? we He's going to defend him. You know what I mean? And I would add as well, some of the other guys who are defending him as managers, the Klops and whoever it is, listen, we all know what sport at the top level is like. These guys, right, they're nefarious characters in a way. So if they see you as not representing a threat, they don't mind you being around. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Threat. When they've got a problem with you is when, you know what I mean, you're on their case. Yeah. When you're in their face, man, and you're, you know what I mean, you're rubbing them up the wrong way. That's when, they, that's when they're going to speak ill of you. 
You know what I mean? No one's going to come after Arteta now. No. Because the Arsenal are where they want us to be. We're no threat to them. So why would you care? It's crazy, man. Absolute madness. Um, I, I think Arteta, Arteta comments are starting to come out now. Um, he's saying something about Chambers... Chambers was hit in the face or something on one of the goals. Like, I don't know, man. You, you know see, he's going to be making excuses. You see, this is the problem now. Um, I think what could really push it over the line with a lot of fans is the excuses. Yeah, I think what he'd best do, man, is just be up front and say, well, you were not good enough. Yes, I can understand him hinting about, you know, the illnesses. So, for example, Pepe, that was unfortunate. I don't know what's happened to him. We was thought he was going to be in the team. Yeah, I think you'd even said to me before, Curtis, that he was playing. And then when I saw the final, yeah, I thought he, he was. Playing. Yeah, I actually didn't realize he wasn't in the squad. And then obviously yeah, they yeah, said, yeah, but they said I mean, it's I, not COVID. It's so not I don't COVID, know what. So we don't know what's happened there, but we are told he's ill. So you know, I mean, it would appear that there's no shenanigans going on. I certainly hope not. Um, but yeah, I think if you're Arteta, man, you've just got to be honest and come out and say, listen. <laughs> SOS. <laughs> SOS for Sam. Save that season, Sam Allardyce. Big Sam will keep us up. <laughs> <laughs> are we in a re are we in a relegation battle? Like absolutely, we're yeah. bottom of the table, and when yeah. we play Norwich, I mean, I, I jokingly said to you, didn't I, a couple of weeks ago when we lost, I said, you know, when we play Norwich, that's a six pointer. That yeah. has now become reality, bro. Yeah. Can't believe what I'm seeing at this. I football can't believe club. what I'm seeing. I, I, I'm at a loss, really. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, uh, you know, when I, when I was trying to, I mean, we got some Wi-Fi problems in the building at the moment, mm. and I was trying to prep myself for when I came on your stream. I was thinking, what am I going to say? And I was thinking, well, there are no <laughs> real words, really. You can't dress this type of thing up. You can't. You know what I mean? You can't really because it's just it's just pathetic. How crazy is it? I mean, I know we was talking about it earlier and I'm I'm joking about the Big Sam thing, but seeing Cristiano Ronaldo go to Man United and the jubilation amongst their fan base signing such a big player. And you're sitting here thinking, we're the biggest spenders with United and we yeah. haven't felt jubilation really for any of our signings. That's no disrespect to them. I think they're all young players, you know, they're bright potential, but... We needed people that could step in and improve us straight away. I don't think we've got time to wait for them guys to get better. Yeah. And like I said, um, with Arteta, he cannot say he's not been backed. No, he can't. Once, you know I mean? That that money, in, in any... Uh, we see it happen with Lampard as well and one or two other managers down the years, yeah? Yeah. That that once you get the money, it's a double-edged sword because you know I mean they're all the managers. The first thing they want to do is what's my budget? How am I, how much money have I got to spend on players? Yeah, yeah. And it's that constant dynamic between them and the board trying to get more money. Once you've been allocated money, and you spend that money, the die is cast, really, isn't it? There's no longer any excuses. It becomes yeah. a double-edged sword because if you don't perform, we saw it happen with Lampard, didn't it? He had the season before he got sacked when he wasn't not given any money. Yep. So, in a way, he's given time by the fact that he's not... Because he can turn around to the board and the powers that be and say, well, look, you know what I mean? There are areas of this team that we need improving on. I need money to buy players. That money's not been available. We've got to go with what we've got. That will buy you a certain amount of time in the Premier League as far as managers go. Once you've been given that money and you don't get the results... Yeah. You all know what happens. I mean, Laurie, look at this. This is the quote from Pep. This is trolling beyond anything I've seen. This is what he said. He said, they made it really hard for us. If it wasn't <laughs> for the red card, this match would have been much closer, more than you believe. They are going right to the top if they keep backing Arteta. He's a genius, more than you believe. I mean, that is something else. They're now, defending your mate, you call... and then there's just straight up trolling. Yeah, now that is just taking the piss out of us now, man. You know what I mean, I thought you was trying to save Arteta, not bury him even further. That is crazy, man. More than you believe, you know. I mean, what would it have been four nil if we didn't have a man sent off? Come on. 
bro, that is crazy that you should say something like that. Where do we go from here? What people are saying six pointer against Norwich after the international it break. It's a genuine listen, that's not even trolling. That's not even a that's not even a wind up. That's not even a joke thing. That is yeah. a serious thing. Because we wow. all know what happens in football, man. You know what I mean? In any sport like this, you know what I mean? Mm. Winning is a habit. Losing can also become a habit. We've lost our first three Premier League games. Yeah. We have not scored a goal and we conceded nine goals. We've been beaten by newly promoted Brentford, right? Yeah. Beaten handsomely. Yeah. Could have been more. Beaten by Chelsea, could have been more. And today, let's be honest, man, I think it was Turkey. Shout out to Turkey. She was saying to me after the game that that could easily have been double figures had it not been for a number of class saves by Leno. Yeah, Leno, Leno was the only player. For, I, I think um, Smith Rowe put in a few good runs. Yeah. Tierney, every, every game Tierney looks like he's injured and then sort of carries on. I don't get it. Um, but apart from that, mate, they were an absolute. The rest of them were an absolute. The shambles. only thing you could say in their defence, apart from Leno, today, is that at least they faced up to the crowd after they went over. They made sure they kept their distance on them. Yeah, they weren't that close. <laughs> they thinking a man's going to throw a coin yeah. at them. You know what I mean? <laughs> they made sure they kept their distance, which was probably a wise thing to do. Um, but yeah, man, it was a shocking. It's a dark day. Dark, a dark, dark day for the club, bro. Because I mean, a lot of people. Let's be honest now. A lot of people didn't expect us to get anything from City. Mm. I mean, um, you predicted you were, you know, you, you were honest. You know what I mean? And I applaud you for that. You came on the show and you said, you know what? I can't see us winning this game. Yeah. I uh, Stricto shout out to Stricto. He he was saying quite clearly we were going to lose. He had no problem in saying it. You know how Stricto is. Yeah, and I was the one person on the show. I did it not so much out of devil's advocacy. I was trying to be positive. So I said, look, you know what? Off the back of the West Brom, it looks like the smiles are back on some of the faces. Maybe there's some kind of renewed optimism there. We go there and give it a go. I'm optimistic. I'm hopeful that we can get a draw. But listen, man, after they scored that first goal, we just capitulated. And, and that is the sorry tale of the matter, man. Mentally, we are way off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try before we finish off because um, I'm back on later for the Liverpool game. I'm gonna try and finish off with some sort of positive, right? Um, which uh, there ain't any really, but we've at least got to look and think. Right, that was so bad. If they don't sack the manager, which I just don't think they will sack him. No, they won't sack him. Have they got to go into the transfer market before Tuesday now and get a couple of players in? Well, that's a good question. But the thing is, do you trust this manager? No. I mean, listen, um, you know, we're having a go at the manager and, you know, I mean, we're, we're justified in, in hammering him because he has made, since he's been there, he's made some poor decisions, uh, both with the um, signings and with some of his tactical play. And like I said, man management appears to be a big problem with this guy. Yeah. Um, one day we'll find out all these things, but we don't know yet. But it would appear, just reading between the lines, talking to people in the game, you know what I mean? Just common sense. You could see that there are issues at this club, yeah? But it has to be said, he's been given a sum of money to spend. Yeah. And the players that he's brought in are not bad players, bro, are they? Let's be honest. They're, they're not marquee signings. No. But Ben White, for example, I was listening to people who know a lot more about football than me. People like Danny Ings, or people, da, sorry, Danny Mills, his name is. One or two others. They were actually saying that he's too good for Arsenal. That's what they were saying. He's an England international. Sambi Lukongo. People no less than Thierry Henry and Vincent Company, legends, stalwarts of the game, were saying that watch out for this guy. He's going to be a great player. He's got everything. He's got leadership. He's got ability. He's got skill. He's going to be a real find. Tavares, you, you do your research on these guys and people are lauding them. Saliba, we've already spoken about. And like I said, you look through the spine of that Arsenal team. They are There are some good players. There are some very good players in that team. And then you think to yourself, well, okay, 
why are they not performing to anywhere near the level? We are underachieving year on year. Eighth and eighth. Now we are ranked bottom of the table. We are bottom of the table. As we speak, you've got you got to point you got to point the finger at the manager, aren't you? So, you yeah, have exactly. To. So you know, so you know, when Pep starts making these over the top eulogies about um about Arteta, man, you've got to just laugh and say, well, you know what I mean? What are you talking about, bro? I know you're trying to protect your bridge, you know, but you know what I mean? You Come on, you're going too far now. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, man, man it's, a, it's a shocking state of affairs. I, I'm just wondering, um, do you think they'll be forced to pull the plug? I mean, mm. do you think that the international Blake saves him or hinders him? What, what do you think? I think it kind of saves him because we're out of the way, the press will calm down, they'll concentrate on England and... Uh, It'll be interesting, the backlash, because I'm just looking you on social that, but media. I'm sure this will be the story of today. I don't think there'll be a bigger story in the Premier no, League no. today. I think for the next, uh, at least for the weekend, because I'm looking on Twitter now and he's being annihilated by yeah, big people be in the for game. the next couple of days, bro. I'll but, um, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. And then, uh, okay, so if they don't get rid of him in the international break, then he's got this game against Norwich. Now, even if even if they win that though, it doesn't really mean much because I think they got Tottenham after that. Oh, gosh. So, but hey, oh, man. Well. I don't but, think put, in answer to your question, I don't think they'll sack him. No, but Laurie, bro, appreciate you coming on. I'm shattered. You know, I'm sick. I couldn't wait for that game to finish. I was exhausted yeah, by yeah, half time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it was dark, man. It was it was it's some dark. dark stuff. And the thing is, I I went to a wedding yesterday, and um. I got recognised by a couple of people at the wedding and, of course, they all need to know my opinion. And, of course, there's me there trying to sound the note of optimism, saying, yeah, man, we beat West Brom. I sense that you're about to see something tomorrow. And, and we you know what I mean? Slapped. I think back to those conversations now. Now I'm going to be embarrassed next time I run into these people. Crazy, man. Shout out to all the fans who made the journey up there as well. What must yeah, they man. Do? Robbie and a lot of the AFTV guys are up there. I wonder what they must be feeling right now. Must be fuming, man. I but... just hope that the fans are not kicking off between themselves because it's obviously not yeah. their fault. But yeah, it's a dark day. Yeah, man. It really but big is. Up, big up, Laurie, for coming on. Appreciate it as usual, bro. Yeah, bro. Thanks for the opportunity, Amy. Like I always say to you in moments like this, man, that coming on to uh, air my opinions like this is strangely quite cathartic. Yeah. You have to <laughs> express that pain, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like a therapy session where you need to talk yeah. it over with somebody. Now I feel a little bit better. Just a little bit. Yeah, man. Big up, big up, Laurie, for coming on, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bro. Take care, bro. All right, so there's Laurie's thoughts. I think everyone's in the same boat. Fran's not on today. Um, He's out. He said he uh, he's doing some some work stuff, so he can't go on. Big up, Broads, in the chat, yo. Where do we go from here, people? I mean, I'm just I'm just quickly looking through Twitter while the, the comments are coming out. Arteta. He's making a lot of excuses, man. He, he said something about Chambers. There was a foul in the build-up to one of the goals. And Aubameyang saying, this is not enough and everyone needs to raise their level. We need to look in the mirror, work this out as a team and stick together. Um, and Guardiola's just trolling all over the place, man. Uh, what did it say? Arteta said, when you lose games, it's impossible. But we had 3,000 fans today and the way they reacted to the team was unconditional, which is why everyone went over to say thank you. I'm sorry we cannot give them the results right now and I have to fix it. Bro, you can't fix it. You cannot fix it. You know? You cannot fix it. I don't care if you want to fix it. I'm sorry we didn't... Oh, come on, man. I'm going to listen to his interview after, man, but he's all over the place. He's absolutely all over the place, um, this guy. Um... Yeah, can we at 2K likes? Listen, big up. Listen, I got to say a big thank you to all of you today in the comments. Me, if I was watching a stream and I see Arsenal losing 3 4 5 0, you know, I'd be tempted to turn it off. So I have to thank all of you for tuning in, for liking the video, for subscribing if you haven't, for voting in the football content. So big up to all of you for all your interaction and comments. Listen, Arsenal therapy is going to be two hours probably tomorrow. We're going to be going in. Um, people saying Fran's in here. Is he in here? I don't know if he is. Uh, Arsenal therapy will probably be about two hours tomorrow, so we'll be uh, we'll be breaking it all down. We'll get all the comments. 
Uh, they have drawn me back in the mix. Fran, let me know. Are you still, are you about? Are you about? Let me know in the comments. I'll send you the link quick, but I don't know if he, um, I don't know if he's about or not. Or if he watched it. Let me know in the comments if you're about. If you're about, you can come back on. We'll do a, man said, Fran, get, Fran, get warmed up, lad. Fran, go for a warm up. Fran, I've sent you the link. Get in here, friend. Get in here, my friend. Fran, go for a warm up. All right, let's get you on here. We ain't going. I thought we was going, people, but we're carrying on. We're going into extra time. Broads, hey, you can come on as well if you want, you know. I'll get you out of retirement. M with the picture. Don't worry, man. The picture will be ready. <laughs> the pictures will be ready, people, man. Don't you worry about that. Arsenal therapy tomorrow. Oh, dear. I'm just going to be repeating myself all season. That's the problem, you know. I've... I ain't going to be saying nothing different. I'm going to be saying the same thing the whole time. I'm just looking for these quotes. Um, he's making all kinds of excuses. Uh, Mr. Super Chat, oh, Jonathan, apologies. You've been supporting all day, man. Um, got to raid Brighton for Basuma and Graham Potter. I mean, Basuma's being linked with Liverpool now. I don't even know if we could get him. Wasted our money, unfortunately. I'm getting warm, Gaffer. If you're still on in 15 minutes, I'm ready to play behind. <laughs> yo, but, yo, I said, I said, Fran, bring the shovel. <laughs> Fran, bring the shovel, man. You're going to need the shovel, the suit, everything. The club's done. The club's, are, oh, man. You got. You have to laugh. What else are we meant to do? Meza Ozil's trolling us, saying, trust the process with a broken love heart. You know what I mean? He's thinking this clown, you know, got rid of me. Look, Leicester winning already 1 0 um, against Norwich. Arteta said, I don't think today is the day to talk about any process. Today we have to talk about the result and what happened on the pitch. So, I mean, when are we going to talk about that then, mate? Because that's all you've been banging on about for the last, you know, 18 months. Trust the process. Now you're saying, I don't want to talk about the process. Let me share screen so you can see it. This guy and his excuses, man. I just can't deal with him. I don't think today is the day to talk about any process. Today we have to talk about the result and what happened on the pitch. And that's it. Okay, mate. Yeah, we, we, so 5-0 Man City. How are you going to explain that? That's what I want to know. How do you explain that? And I don't want to hear no excuse about yellow card, red card. It, 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 was, a, it was a sending off. I don't care what anyone says. You get sent off for intent. You don't have to make contact with a player to be sent off. Arsenal, who did this to you, lads? Today's not today, not the day. To, all right, we'll talk about the process tomorrow then, mate, in Arsenal therapy. You know, 2,500 of them walked out. Fran's in the building. Let me get him in it. I ain't got the suit on. I'm a bit disappointed. I was expecting the shovel and everything. Here he is. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I didn't have time. I didn't, I, listen, I've just got in now and then I've seen this and I thought, I want, I'm, I'm going to come away from it all. I'm going to relax, go and see some nature. And then I get in the car and I listen to the radio. Yeah. And I get home. I've just listened to Arteta and I thought, if Curtis is still on, I've got to get on. Yeah. Brav. Not, I'm hurt, mate. I'm hurt. Yeah. I'm hurt. People, people saying Ian Wright looked like he was going to cry on TV. Martin Keown looked like he was going to cry as well. Honestly, I, I don't know what to say except for man's drawn me out of the day of, you know, peace. And, he was going to have a day off. Huh? You, man was going to have a day off. It drawn I him went up. up in the, you know, the, the Peak District, the hills, nature yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. And I thought, you know what? Today's the day. And then this guy's excuse after excuse after excuse. Yeah. Ex all that ex listen, Bamyang's come out, he's got to come out and say something. It's all to do with the players. Listen, yeah. this manager clearly, clearly, and I know people have said it, you've said it for time. You've I've tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I've tried to look at the way that football things work. Yeah. This manager is clearly clueless. I don't know if he's overthinking it. I don't know if he's he's he 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 he's trying to reinvent the wheel. 
I, I, I just do not get it, bro. I don't get what is happening or going through this man's head. We, we, I'm listening to the radio. The man gets sent off. He doesn't change anything until half time. And the, the, and the, the players, and I'm, I'm not even watching it. I'm listening to it on the radio. And the players must be looking around and thinking, is he not going to make a substitution? Mm. We are ESR and Udegaard in the middle are trying to play in holding midfielders. They don't know what's going on. And I'm looked yep. at the goals, Bro. mate. AFTV football team would bully these back four. Chambers oh, is facing the wrong way. How is he facing? How is he facing the cross and not knowing where the, the, the attacker is? We all know that. We all know that as a defender, you look at the ball as long as you can see your man. Yeah, yeah. We all know that. I'm telling you. I, 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 I'm shocked. You know what, Fran? I, I fell into the trap, right? I predicted before the game. I said, I said, oh, I think we'll lose 2-1, which I hate predicting that we're going to lose. But... I fell into that trap of before the game, we kicked off. We had a bit of possession. I got hyped up. Oh, can we beat them? And they're just crossing the ball in box in the box. And our defenders are headbutting each other. And Gundawan's winning headers. And I'm like, is this serious or what? Uh, before the game, Jermaine sent me a message. He went, yo, Aubameyang's wearing the old R9 you know, remake of the old R9 boots, you know. Yeah, I remember them boots. They they could get something today. I get his voicemail as I've been in peaceful, nice streams and cows and sheep. I get his voicemail when I get back in the car, all right? Yeah. And we're 10 minutes in and we're two nil down. <laughs> so I send him Bro. a voice note back saying, I don't know what you're I don't know what you're thinking, mate, because I'm, I've just got in the car and we're two nil down. And no, they they didn't even get out of first gear. It actually got to the point on the radio where it was it was so boring because it was so easy. And then he comes out and he doesn't say anything about fight. He doesn't say anything about willingness to win. He doesn't say anything about um, why we got beat. He doesn't say anything about why he didn't make any substitutions. He doesn't say anything about the personnel. He just says... The stupid things that politicians say all the time or what someone wants to sit on the fence. Mm. So only wants, oh, well, I'm not sure. Oh, oh yes, maybe this. And, oh, the fans were, well done to the 3,000 fans. Mate, why don't you reimburse those 3,000 fans if you're that bothered and try and get exactly. a petition you know to what try I mean? and reimburse them? If you're that bothered about people coming to see you, it's because he wants to say the right things. Let me say this. Is it... Listen, and I know why people were saying give him the benefit of the doubt, let him have a window and all this stuff. But like you say, I think everyone's seen straight through it from day one. And yeah. I'm looking at people and honestly, people are feeling sorry for Arsenal now. Oh, they don't 100%. want them to be this bad. Yeah, Man, rivals fans, are Liverpool saying... Fans, they don't want yeah. them to be this bad, bro. That... I don't. That's embarrassing. Apparently, Brendy has just scored a belter, which just makes a day even worse, yeah. don't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, man. Fran, honestly, right? The game was... Do you, know we broke... Do you know we broke the record today for the lowest possession in Arsenal Premier League history? We had 19... You're hearing me 19. right here. 19% possession. Nine... I swear, I swear... We would have more possession than that against a Man City are phenomenal, but surely, yeah. surely most teams have more than nineteen percent. He's broke the record for Arsenal. Oh mate, the man's brought me out of my daily retirement. You know what I mean? I was out there Brandon. with the birds and the bees, Yo, and this I guy's seen this got me guy out. putting up pictures in the hills with. Sheep. I'm in the hills with nature, the wife, the kids are in streams. You know what I mean? And then, then this guy's had to draw me out. I couldn't stay away. I was just about to go in the bath, get some candles, and this guy's got me out. <laughs> Honestly, Brian, I got more stats for you. Uh, Not wait, one. Uh, have you got the stat about where we we ain't we ain't something like fifty years ago? And then, the, and then previous one was 50 years before that. We oh, haven't no, scored no, in the I ain't first got that three one. games or something. Then, no, I ain't got that one. I ain't got that one. 
1954 was the last time this has happened. And before that, 1904. It's only happened twice in 100 years. Fran, check, check these stats to add to it, right? <sighs> um, I just see Buenos Aires Guna put one up. We had 9% possession in the second half. <laughs> 9%. Surely, surely that's, you can't, that, you couldn't do that. You don't you even tried. know how that's possible. How is that possible? Yo, we touched the ball 36 times in the whole game. Wow. One, we, Fran, we didn't have one shot on target. One shot off target, no shots on target. You'd expect to see that if like Man City were playing like a, a conference team in the cup. Yeah, like a, like a base for United. Yeah, like a team from non-leagues got to the third round and they're playing Man City, I'd expect that. Man said 9% possession, man got arrested for more than that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my days. I can't believe it. I can't, I, I can't believe, you know what? And there's some, like you say, absolute hardcore Old school fans that me and you both know, you know, 50, 60, 65, 70 year old fans. Mm. And they must be, they must be crying of what's happening because it is. Bro, there was people in the comments saying, I'm in tears. Like people were saying they I, I can see it. I can see it. You know me, I control my emotions very well. And I was deflated from having a beautiful day. I was deflated and he, he, I'm just listening to his comments. I'm thinking, say something. Yeah. Say something. Say it's down to me and I really need to look in the mirror over this international break. Yeah, yeah. At least give me something. But there's nothing. Why does he not take responsibility, Frank? He doesn't even blame anyone. It's not like he's not rollicking. The thing that did it for me, Frank, Xhaka gets sent off. He's coming off the pitch and he gives him a pat on the back. Dean Ashton on the radio was saying... It's disgusting. It's disgusting that he's gave him a pat on the back. You know what it's like. Sometimes you've been sent off and you've not done nothing wrong. And the manager still ignores you. Even if you've not done nothing wrong, the manager still ignores you. This guy's patting him on the back. Oh, well done. You know, a little pat, pat. What sign does that, what message does that sign, that, that send to everyone else? You know, yeah. like, you know, like people like Aubameyang or... No wonder you don't want David Luiz and people like that around because they wouldn't accept that. No. They wouldn't accept that. Leaders, winners, do not accept a manager patting a player on the back who has now cost the other 10 players yeah. and embarrassed the other 10 players and now they've got to do double the work. They're not going to get the ball because he's been sent off, which was a sending off, and... The manager taps, but well done, mate. Imagine yeah, what, yeah, um, looking, the lads I'm, on the bench are thinking. Oh, mate. Who that he's ignored in the a... dressing room or he's ignored at training. These players who he's ignored because he's got an ego problem and then he yeah. pats someone on the back who's got sent off. Can you imagine what they're thinking? They're thinking, I'm not playing for you. I'm not playing for you. I'm yeah. not running around for you. I'm not getting in early for you. I'm not staying behind after training for you. Because he, because he doesn't know how to treat people. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear what is going on. It's clear. Did, did, did think, he to Fran, get rid of him? Um, I, I, think, I think we all know that this board, are try, they've tried to back him. They obviously wanted to keep him. But do you think this result forces their hand or do you still think it's not enough? Because a lot of people in the comments, you know, Arsenal fans were saying, I hope this ends up seven or eight, so they have to yeah. get rid of it. And I get it. I get it. The the Norwich game is the most important game of his career. The Norwich game is the most important game of his career because if he doesn't if he does not win that Norwich game and they don't get the sack, I honestly think that the purest, most positive Arteta fan will start to think what's going on here. The thing is, even if, we beat, even if we beat Norwich, is this... It's got to be beat... Well, you've got to beat him in the right way. You've got to beat him in the right way as well, haven't you? But what mm. happens is, if you get a result, even if it's even if it's crap, but you get a result, people do that little another stay of execution again. Mm. 
But it becomes a time where even the people who are massive Arteta fans, all right, or whatever you want to be, okay, even the people who are massive Arteta fans, you can't be that naive and biased and stupid, basically, to still want him to bring your club down. Would you stay with a woman or would you marry a woman who is bringing your household down? No. Oh, no chance. Sir. You wouldn't. But they're sticking with him. Well, you wouldn't. So why do people think, oh, it's okay? Because, it, it... listen, I've always said, if a man is showing progress, then you give him the benefit of the doubt when he's, when the pro, if, if, even if you don't like a man, if you don't like a man or you don't like someone, but if they're showing progress, mm. then you have to support that vibe. If they're not showing progress, then it's double. Especially if you don't like them. It's double pressure. And mm. we are, I told you, if we don't book our ideas up, we will finish 10th. And if you're looking at the way we've started, we might be lucky if we finish 10th. For me, I, I just think, and I don't think they will, but we got two weeks off now, international break. And um, I think they've got to use this opportunity to to get rid of him. I honestly do. And you know what? I just, I actually forgot about this. RIP to Sam Oji, man. He was my teammate at um, Tamworth. You might have even played against him, you know. He's a centre-back. Yeah, I just recognised the name. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. He, he, grew, he came through at Arsenal. I think he played for Leighton Orion. He's a Birmingham lad. He played for Tamworth. He was teammates with me at Tamworth, man. I just heard. I, I didn't. I only just heard about it. What happened? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Someone, people were putting it in the chat, and I checked it on Twitter. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I was. I was. Oh, I was bless, teammates man. with they, him they, for they, about. Obviously, four when things like that happen, it makes you just think. You know, you have to come away from that stuff. But the fact yeah. of the matter is, um. You obviously you can't let these things. I always say, don't I? Don't let these things affect you. Don't let these things get in the way of your weekend. Don't let these things. But mm. they need to be addressed. This is yeah. the problem. They need to be addressed. And if it makes that every fan channel has to address these issues, and maybe someone eventually will listen, because yep. surely this is what I always say: if everybody's falling out with you, you're the one with a problem. Yeah, it ain't, no, it ain't everyone else, but people, it, it, Arteta must start to realize he is the problem, it ain't yeah. the players. And as much as Kev said it's the players, they've got to go and do the job. If <laughs> I, if, 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 if I run a company and my company is to build trains, and I tell my play, my, my, my um, employees to put the wheels on backwards, then it's me, it's me, it ain't the, it ain't the employees, they're and just he's doing telling what these you're players telling. to do yeah. things. He is telling these players to do things that they either don't want to do, they are not comfortable doing, or they don't want to do. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And it's got to be one of those three. He's got nothing about him. He's got nothing about him. In the interview, he's got nothing about him. You know, you know, most men, I don't know if you've seen an interview with a Crawley manager a couple of weeks ago. It was going around Twitter. It was quite funny. And the yeah, yeah, I saw it, yeah. Him, the porter was asking him and he was just straight down the middle, a little bit too much. He was just straight down the middle and he said, and he was just saying positives and he was just going, it's pathetic. And he was just hammering his players. Now, I don't want Arteta to come on and hammer his players because then that's it, he's done, he's out the window. In fact, I actually do because then he is done, he's out the window. But <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't be very professional if he did that. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But he, when, when he comes out and speaks about the, he doesn't say anything. And then to be fair, I'm, I understand Pep. Pep's coming on and he's being nice to him. And mm. Pep's coming on and he's saying it's hard and he will do well. And if they stick with him, they do well. I get that. He's his friend. I would do it for you. You would do it for me. I get mm. that. But when Arteta is asked about certain questions and he does not give us the answer that we all know you need in football, that's his problem. Yeah. That's his problem. And I think people are angry. I think people are very emotional. I don't think people are surprised. I wasn't surprised when we were 2-0 down. In I wasn't surprised. No. I, I And I think people have got to the point where they just accept it. They just accept what's going on. Because we're not seeing anything. The Cronkay should be coming out today with a statement. After this game, they should be coming out with a statement. Yeah. 
and saying, we are disappointed with the result. We appreciate all the fans going to the game. It's a two-hour, three-hour drive from the smoke to Manny. We appreciate that. Not They're not going to say those words. But <laughs> I appreciate that all the fans, the club are doing everything they can to make sure we turn this corner. And if results do not change, action will be taken. That's how you... So it's, win. So it's the dreaded vote of confidence. That's yeah. how you get fan base on your side. Hmm. They won't say anything though. Silence, Stan. He won't say anything. I mean, listen. Do you think that? Do you think they might panic by now on or before Tuesday, the deadline? Well, he said he's obviously he's in for. They're in for certain players. Hmm. The problem they're going to get to now is they're going to try and get someone and then going to go throw more money than what the players worth at them. This is not a player problem, Kurt. Hmm. When you think about it, right? Yes, we've got certain players out. But when you actually look at the body language of these players when they are playing, and let's forget West Brom. West Brom was living the moment, enjoy a bit of goals. Aubameyang's got a smile on his face, but we all know that's not that's not going to be the next game. That's not the course of the season, okay? But when you look at, look at the goals, the goals were people weren't bothered about defending. Hmm. There was no pride on stopping the cross. It's like half hard. Yeah. There's no pride on, for example, the first goal. I mean, the second goal, should it have been a free kick? He has, I think he's like fisty cuffed him. Do you know what I mean? They're both at it. They're both at it. And yeah, it's kind of, yeah. you know what I mean? So I can understand that going on. But these players don't, we've said it, they don't want to play for this manager. No, they don't, man. They got, they got to make a change, surely. So, hey, yes, bro, in the cup. So even if you bring a new even if you bring I thought, a new player, I thought you had a training top on then. <laughs> never, <laughs> never can I give money to this regime, man. Never, ever. <laughs> what did you make of it, bro? Bro, expected, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, defending was poor. Possession-wise, I mean, I think Manchester City under 16s could have put up more of a fight. You know what I mean? They could have kept the ball better than us. Um, we're too young. I feel like we're too young. We don't really have, you know, so, <laughs> I must say, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I just think it's expected, isn't it? And that's how much um, Arsenal are in the mud because, look, we're getting to Man City. People are, I know it's a bit of banner, in it? But people are putting our, yeah, 8 nil Man City, 10 no man see, you know what I mean? We're all commenting, but whether it's banter or not, we're actually close to those school lines. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm. Pep, I don't think I don't think Pep um is is too hard. He doesn't have to. You know, we're like we're proper, we're proper in the mud, man. Proper. And the thing is, yeah, I, I did I didn't even think City got out of second or third gear. Like they were going through the motions. They didn't. Exactly. I mean, like I said, I was listening onto the radio, so it's very different. And then when I got in, I looked quickly at the highlights in there. But Jack Grealish is just walking around doing back heels with no one near him. Um, it, it, Sterling had a little blast when he came on. Man, ain't doing anything. Yeah. They don't need to do anything. That's exactly it, man. And it's just like, look, when we look at it like this year, we spend money very, very stupidly. You know, we could have got a while in, we could have got Buendia, who obviously has just scored a banger. Um, you know, we, the thing is, we're buying a lot of inexperienced players and a lot of might be, it's not, they will be, they might be ready in a few years, but we need yeah. solutions now because the way we're heading, it probably won't get to that point, but the way we're heading, we're going to be relegated. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, Arsenal probably will pick it up. I mean, hopefully, but, at the end of the day, like, what what do the owners want from this club? You know, if we're just chilling and, you know, buying Lokonga and buying or whoever their names are, whatever, I don't even know these guys. You know what I mean? Like, what what, what are we doing for now, innit? What are we saying now? We need to be saying something now. I remember, like, 2007, they were talking about yeah. potential. Big man, it's 2021. Yeah. Exactly. We haven't moved forward, man. Big up Craig, he said, Chelsea, bring back Lukaku, Man United, Ronaldo... Arsenal bring back depression. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Do you know what? Yesterday, you know when Ronaldo signed for Man U, I was saying this earlier, like, 
it made me look at Arsenal like, you're finished. Like, these <coughs> men are signing Ronaldo. For... Ramsdale costs more than Ronaldo. Now, I know the circumstances are different, but still, you're like, look at the players these men are bringing in. I, I, I'd be in I, 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 would, I would love to know who is agreeing or who proposed this new way of business. I don't know whether it's a combination of this is the money that you've got. This is the process we want to go from the owners. I don't know whether Arteta is saying, give me this time, give me this, and I will transform this club into a, a, a producing club. Because at the minute, no one knows what's going on and no one knows what they're doing. No one knows what they're doing. People might say Bro, they know what they're doing, but it, you can say as much as you want. But when actions ain't lining up with what you're saying, it means you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Simple. Just, qu just quickly from here, last question I'm going to ask you both. Cause I've been on nearly four hours yet. What, <laughs> what do you, it, what do, you, how do you think Arsenal move forward from it? Obviously, Oof. sacking the manager is the main thing, but if they don't do that, how can they move forward? Well, first of all, um, there's been a lot of rumors about I think a Qatari royal family asking or inquiring about buying Arsenal. Guys, please, please come and save us. Because we need <laughs> investment, we need everything. Kroenke is not, I repeat, he is not a, a football fan. He doesn't care about football. You know, he's playing with our mental health. He's playing with our club and we want him out. But on a lower level, I feel like Shaka, I don't know. I mean, look, big up Shaka, man. But I don't know, man. This what kind of leadership qualities is he demonstrating? Because even that tackle today, look, you both played the pro game, yeah? Bro, you never, ever, ever need to make a tackle like that in that area. You don't need to make a tackle like that in general, especially in that. What kind of leadership is that? Especially when we've got a very young team, you know? Um, there needs to be a style of football. I don't know what the style is. The style is meant to be possession-based. Like you said, in the, in the, was it, the second half, 9%. Um, possession nine, you know. I don't think yeah, I could even do that on FIFA, you know. So, <laughs> <Madness>. <laughs> it makes sense. So, yeah, doesn't make sense. It's I mean, crazy. I tell you, when I made, I made a tackle like that once when I, I knew I'd get suspended so I could have Christmas off Boxing Day. That's when <laughs> I did that. Um, so was there was a, there was a, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> the Boxing Day. Hey, Craig, I, Craig um, I, did re I did read it out, Craig, if you missed it. I did read the super chat. Um, Fran, yeah, finally then. What what do you think? If if Arteta doesn't get sacked, which he probably won't, what, what can he do? If Arteta does not get sacked, like I've always said, 10th for me is where we'll finish. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't think, one, I don't think the players want to play for this manager. And even if they do, I don't think they're good enough. Simple as that. I think we've been overtaken too many times. Um, people will run around half-hearted. Ferrick, you, you just talk about the goals today. You talk about the goals today. People are not interested. Now, yes, mm -hmm. we played Chelsea. Yes, we played Man City. I get that. And it's and 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 people will say, yeah, well, you played those two, and those those two teams now are miles ahead of us. I get that. But I'm telling you now, what I don't get is what people that look like they just stay in bed all day because they're comfortable. That's what I don't mm -hmm. get. That's what I don't like. And you yeah. can see that today. These are weak. Soft, not winners, and it comes from your boss. And if your boss is weak and your boss is not a winner, then you will have an in that will be an infect infectious mentality that it's okay to turn up late, it's okay to walk through drills in training, it's okay. And you set a standard, and this man here sets low standards for himself. Yeah. And that means that his, 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 his team, his surroundings will be low standards. Doesn't matter who he brings in. We could have signed Ronaldo yesterday. What's he going to do? Because Ronaldo don't come out of the 18-yard box no more. So who's going to give him the ball? He needs to go. Everyone knows that he needs to go. And I'm not sure how long they can cover this up, cover it up for. Because mm -hmm. it's a results business game. And results will get you the sack. And if we don't get rid of him... We will finish 10th, probably at best. And if we do get rid of him, you need a man who's going to come in 
and say, hey boy, listen, this is how we're going to do business. This is what time you turn up for training. This is what you do on a football pitch. And if you're not do it, you're out of the team. Simple. Mm. Now I need to go back down to Wusa. Very hard with this <laughs> manager to do that. You know what I mean? But listen, I'm out of here, people. Been on oh, for four hours. <laughs> Big up to Broads. Big up to Fran for coming out. Listen, I'm trying to get Broads out of retirement. So go <laughs> check out his channel. He's close to a thousand. If we get you to a thousand, that might draw you out. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I'm going to stream after this. I'm going to stream after this. I'm going to stream after this. What, today? Yeah, yeah, yeah today, Jesus! today. Jesus! Yo, what time are you on? I want to know. I'll jump, I'll jump straight on after. I'll jump straight. I'll do a quick half an hour or something. There you go. Broads is straight on. We can get him to a thousand today, surely. And yeah, Fran, where, when are you next on? I'm gonna. I'll be on tomorrow. I let all the Premier League games out today. Obviously, Peterborough got West Brom as well, so I'll I'll talk all everything tomorrow. Probably yeah, four o'clock so tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Four o'clock. So check out FFTV. He's just gone past 2k as well, and he is giving away a PS5. Yeah, still it. Still next. Still to me, there. <laughs> Let me see that. Yeah, bro, yeah. <laughs> bro, get involved. Bro, get involved, man. Hey, hey, man. Fred, you know. You know I'm a long time subscriber, bro. From, from <laughs> before the hundred. <laughs> no man, let's keep going. Man. We're, we're gonna do end of the transfer window, innit? So we ain't got Jesus. many days left. We need to keep getting those subscribers up, man. Oh, well, yeah, subscribe, man. guys! Subscribe, subscribe! Yeah, come on, come on! <laughs> now, big up to you both for coming on, though, man. No, appreciate it. Now, appreciate it. Thanks for everyone. Care, appreciate man. it. Man. Me, man. Take care. Yes, man. Big up to Broads and big up to Fran for coming on. Big up to Laurie who came on earlier as well. I'll just wrap it up. Uh, Shadman said, Aubameyang came up with big words in his post-match interview. Deep down, I think he knows he isn't a captain. The club is in a shambles, flirting with relegation, and it's only third game week of the season. Wow. You can't say much more than that. People, I'm going to shoot off and have a little bit of a break. It's been a long day. I'm back on at 10 past five for Liverpool against Chelsea. If anyone wants to get this out of their mind and watch some different football, come and join me for that. Big up to all of you for the great support today. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Get in the description and get voting football content awards. And don't forget, download the One Football app. Arsenal therapy tomorrow, people, 2 p.m. Keep your afternoon free. I'll be on for probably two hours talking about that. Where do we go from here, mate? We're in an absolute mess. I think it's only right that I leave you with this picture. If there's one picture that describes how we all feel right now, it's this. I will leave you with this, people, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bless.